Okay, hello everybody. We are I am Joker Sleeps and we are here for the King Trove Sheep Spider lower bracket run, lower four, I think. Uh, with me are Diamond and Nick. Hello, you two. Good morning. Good morning, indeed. It is a wonderful morning to have three Eevee racers for. Yeah, races. all Eevee, baby. <laughs> Let's yeah, two go. Pokemon runners. Yeah, we have Pikachu runners, and Nick is. Uh, Nick. I played Eevee casually, okay, and I watched about 600 hours of Let's Go speed running, okay. And at yeah. this point, I feel like I've watched enough Eevee runs to feel qualified to speak about Eevee, so... Yeah, we're good. I mean, we'll just crap on it up the entire run. It's Hell no, I love Eevee. Speak, your, speak for yourself. Get out of here. Bias casters, Why did I sign you up? <laughs> Why did I sign you up? Okay, are these Eevees... Uh, I, I think, think Spider sheeps. has a male EV. I think this female. Sheep sees oh, the only yeah. female one. Yeah, she sees the only female one. I'm getting better at telling these uh, these hearts on tails things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even look different. for. I don't even look for the hearts. It's uh, you know, it just has more white on the tail, and it's like, oh yeah, that's a female. Looks like we got a uh, girl one from Trubs, we got boy two from Sheep, and we boy got two standard boy one from Spider. So, uh, any Ooh. girl three enjoyers in the chat, uh, you are sorely disappointed today. Girl three enjoyers in shambles chat room. You hate to see it. I'm in shambles right now. Truly. Girl 3 enjoyers are girl enjoyers in general, true. But uh, still, in shambles, unfortunate. Yeah, we won't know these EV natures until they check. We can't, no AV tells. I always oh, forget yeah. the AV, never look. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's interesting to see like, how well these runners do today, because I know they've been putting out really solid times. Uh, to put things in perspective, uh, King Trubs also knows Matt. Uh, put up a 309.41 time, uh, Spider put up a 311.25, and then Shika putting up a 313.38. It's also worth noting that I believe this is the, correct me if I'm wrong, first run that Sheep is doing on digital. Is this correct? No idea. I don't know if they've been doing stuff like before. Oh, I'll upgrade it to digital, it. damn. Yeah. I know he upgraded to digital. But... Competition's getting rough, huh? <laughs> this is true. Uh, but yeah, no, today's race is stacked. These three racers are all very good. And I can't wait to see the triple EV race and how it goes. I'm very excited. Yeah, uh, we are aware that there is a little bit of an issue with the timer. Uh, race time is currently still going, so it should be updated within the next couple of minutes. Uh, shout out to Tech for, for helping out with that. Uh, but soon we'll be getting into our first starter catch. Eevee. Uh, Eevee, unlike Pikachu, uh, remains the same at uh, 27 CP. Yeah, always the same CP. Uh, Pikachu uh, can either be 26 if it has a positive negative nature, or it can be uh, 27 CP if it's a neutral. Unfortunately, the only way that you can really tell with Eevee is either just by checking its summary, or if you decide to run whatever Eevee that you need, uh, check on Level up. Spider got the excellent. Spider getting the excellent. Sheep getting in the great. Excellent is unoptimal. And King Trub's getting great. Mm-hmm. Agree. Yeah. You're able to like throw your Joy-Con. Well, don't throw your Joy-Con. Please hang on to your Joy-Con. But uh, you can kind of like do the motion as you're mashing through the final text box, and it'll it'll register a throw for the great. Yeah. Yeah, gotta be quick. I wonder if, if all three are gonna check their nature here. I, based on pre-talk, I think Matt and Spider will check. Not sure about Sheep. I don't think Spider's gonna check. Um, Spider has been has run many many minus attack EVs and has actually has like. Written notes specifically for minus attack. No, it's specifically for there. minus attack. Yeah. yeah so I'd be comfortable with running whatever. Uh, 
whatever EV they end up getting. Screw it, sure. we ball. That's exactly. the mentality. I believe that uh, Trubs mentioned that he'll he'll reset a uh, an unfavorable nice nature, uh, but I'm not sure about what Chief's Jeez. game plan is. Oh, okay, yes, yeah, fire's just going. Chief's As checking. expected, Spider just goes gentle. gentle. I don't know what Spider jump just books it. Uh, gentle. Modest. That's going to be a lot gentle. of special defense yep. EVs, and it looks like uh, Trubs is going to reset for a neutral. Didn't pay attention to. Uh, what he ended up modest uh, modest ah, okay so minus attack plus special attack will hurt in the early game so just opting to take the uh take the 40 second time loss now in order to hopefully get a more favorable run in the future yeah modest is bad you don't want modest do you know the level six stats on the ev i don't so i, I can't do tell. not i'm going to try and chat and uh, track these avs uh <laughs> we'll keep you posted if i can manage three spreadsheets at once <laughs> yeah, it sounds. What is gentle? You said plus special defense. Minus defense, plus special defense. I believe. Okay. And yep. lax would be the other way around. Correct. Just don't get uh, just don't get poison jabbed by the Arbok. Exactly. He's gonna get poison jabbed by the Arbok now. I am very <laughs> interested in seeing how many special defense AVs Sheep is gonna get because. Between the gentle nature as well as the somewhat vain characteristic, which denotes a special defense uh, AD weight as well, that is going to be four out of eight possible rolls going directly to special defense. <laughs> Actually, it's just gonna be two. Don't worry. That's, that's a thick EV. Yeah, we'll see. 15, 15, 14, 17, 15. Okay. I'm not <laughs> gonna tell you about this. No way. Well, yeah, so just as a reminder, only the winner moves on to round number four. Um, yeah, double a limb today. And uh, to get in the upper pot two, they need to be. To clinch upper pot two, they'd have the Aspects 305, which uh, is going to be a feat for sure. Have to, they'd have to have the run of their lives. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, race Each timer is. Yeah, sorry, race timer is fixed. Uh, shout out to Tech. I just noticed that. Pokemon, yeah. let's go, Tech. Yeah. Um, just to, like, at least be in contention for Lower Pachi, they'd have to beat Sandy's 308 20. More realistic than beating Aspect. <laughs> yeah, Who's gonna get paralyzed? Runner. Ooh, no paralyze? No paralyze. Standard standard fights all around. Looks like Sheep's was either a three or a four turn, and I uh, did not pay attention to spiders. Um, EV can be a two through four turn fight, depending on your nature as well as any growls you take. I believe with plus attack you can get up, to, you can get all the way down to two turns, and then with pretty bad luck you can get all the way up to four. No, pretty bad luck you can get to like ten turns because. Okay, paradise. under normal circumstances, assuming no paralysis, <laughs> yeah, I, should, a, I should clarify not that. Not assuming the absolute worst, you know? Yeah, we have seen Pikachu being kind of a troll at times, and fully parried, and things, things of that nature. That Joker was just gonna segue, you know, into some Pikachu propaganda and be like, this is why you should run Pikachu, because you don't get paralyzed. You do the paralyzing. See, this is gonna be the thing where you're just gonna bring it up more than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are kind of creatively bankrupt. We're running out of bits so far into the I know tournament, I, you know, we gotta. I know I joked bits. about the whole Pikachu thing, but usually I try and keep that to the minimum. Usually. Yeah, usually. 75% of the time. Speaking of Pika <laughs> and EV differences, uh, Pika will normally level up to level 6 here, assuming that you don't catch anything on uh, Route 1 slash die to the, the rival battle. Uh, so normally Pika runners can just go ahead and check their stats here, assuming that they don't check in the lab. EV runners will need to either wait until the first Caterpie trainer in the course, 
or until they level up to level 10, I believe, when they learn Double Kick. Just depending on uh, whether they catch early bug, whether they catch things in forest, things of the, things of the sort. Didn't hit the Pidgey, nice. A nice one percent bee drill. The bees, they're coming for Spider. Not the bees. Pikachu from Sheep, okay. I didn't even see that. It was like halfway hidden behind the sign. Good catch. Four. Well, you. It also could have been, you know, Pikachu usually screams Pikachu. <laughs> this is 15, true. 15, 15, 14, 17. That is a. Uh, that is fact. Uh, Sheep getting the Pika first try. This will be really good, especially because it is before the second trainer in Forest, which has the Pidgey. Evilly normally. <laughs> Bice attack! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, Spider, not again! Oh no. <laughs> uh, what nature was it specifically? No idea. I just saw 14 on the attack. Yeah, it was 14 attack. Oh gosh. Well, Spider's very, very. Is a, is a minus attack veteran at this point, so I well, expect him to be totally fine. We'll in before, in before it's modest, you know, Trub's resetting off of the modest EV, Spider just running with it, that'd be funny. Okay. But as I was saying, uh, this Pidgey over on Spider Screen can be a little bit of a troll. Eevee usually cannot one-shot this. Uh, Sheep will have a little bit of a better time if he chooses to two-controller the fight. You can pull out the two-controller for both catches and in battle to to create a quote-unquote unfair advantage, I suppose. Uh, Pika, Thundershocks is no problem. So either Pika Runners can Thundershock the Pidgey or Eevee can bring out the 2C and Thundershock it due to Sand Attack being a thing, as you can see Sheep doing right now. Amber and Chad confirming that it's uh, Timid? Interesting. So both uh, coming from chat, Timid God is attack a, AV. Exactly. So minus attack plus speed, but an attack AV does denote that it has an attack characteristic, so it will have two out of the eight. Uh, rules going towards that attack set, despite it being a uh, negative attack nature. Oh, first catch Bell Sprout's interesting. <laughs> Maybe just hit it. Yeah, just simply catch the Bell Sprout, and then it's fine. One C, excellent. You should definitely bury one C Bell Sprouts. Bearing, uh, bearing things helps increase their catch rate. Uh, a bug that is lured in the forest, so uh, max level plus one. Nice glowing B on sheep screen, by the way. Uh, <laughs> is about a 71% chance to get in if it is not buried, and an 83% chance to get in if it is, assuming that you want to control on it. Uh, I'm sure what the Oddish Bell Sprout uh, catch percentage is, because I can only two control of that, so I don't have that in my notes. I, I think it's 70%. That's what it would be without... All three runners having their first bug on screen right now. That's better. Oh, really broke out. Sheep. Breakout number one for Trubs. Not really Breakout what you want to see here. Yeah. Glowing Weedle too, so that would have been a lot of hits. Maybe for the gets it on the second try. So, glowing plus excellent should give... Uh, King Trubs at least a little bit XP to push Eevee towards 7. Ever closer towards that 10 that Eevee desperately needs before Brock in order to mm -hmm. uh, be able to double kick Tail with the Onyx down. Sheep depositing with Pika. Now going for a Glowing Weedle. Uh, <laughs> glowing Metabot and Glowing Kakuna in Trubs' screen. <laughs> Metapod's a little bit hard to go for. You can catch Metapod or Kakuna in Forest and then go for like a level 9 uh, respective single or first stage bug right after. Uh, that does put you in a little bit of a conundrum where you don't want the bug to evolve into the, uh, the, the Metapod Kakuna. Kakuna that you yeah. already have. So, uh, but it looks like every all of our runners <laughs> have the, uh, the Caterpie or Weedle. 
Yeah, if you go for Metapod or Cocoon, it's like 88. Spider catching this peak. If you hit the excellent, if you hit the excellent, yeah, about 88 percent. You say? Yeah. So you can guarantee the catch with Raz, but I think yeah, Spider's EV is the first one to hit level 10 here, or double kick, crucial for Rock. I well, I have no idea. It's minus attack, right? So like. Mm. You're double Fair kicking. Point. You're double kicking. How much worse is this fight at minus attack? I feel like Ooh, it's pretty bad. Missing, missing the excellent on the bell spread. Unfortunate. Just get a supersized something and hit 13. It'll still be bad. Yeah, the important thing for EV2, like that level 10 uh, damage is higher at, at levels that end in 0, 3, 5, or 8, so EV being level 10 is mandatory also just because of a double kick. With mine's attack, I don't know if... Does Spider skipping Weedle? Double kick the, uh, double double kick the Geodude Spider Spider skipping Weedle, yeah. <laughs> Hoping for the 15% Weedle, too. Oh, oh they got it! Easy! Easy! Easy roll. Wasn't even worried. Nope. Didn't attack. That's for sure gonna say the bug's gonna attack when Spider decides to draw. But gets in just fine, and all three of our runners currently having, I believe, six catches. Uh, Spider yep. having Pika. Another B drill. <laughs> Another B drill. What are with these? These are 1%, guys? by the way. 1%. <laughs> Oh, oh Trubs might get out of uh, the D Mark Pika. Yep, getting out of fours with seven. So does the Pikachu only attack Spider faster? get out of fours with six catches? I feel like we were talking about this yesterday, but this is not recommended at all. This is I might have done this in my PB, but uh, one way that you could <clears throat> expedite things uh, is if say Sheep were to have caught a. Uh, a Weedle pre-forest and then catching a bee in forest instantly gets you the Kakuna and then you just deposit both before you lure. Definitely that, not uh, recommended, but is is a line of catching that is possible. I Do feel not like recommend. the IQ, IQ requirement for that is a bit too steep. It's a, at least four digits, you know? No, you should definitely do it all the time. It's not a bad catch. Maybe. Spider is going to be the first one to enter the Brock fight. Uh, assuming minus attack EV, I expect him to to see the fight with EV and Bellsprout. Uh, I believe he'll uh, either double kick, do some sort of combination between double kick Vine Whip or Tail Whip Growth. Um, one boosting move, one one attacking move uh, to take out the Geodude, and likewise for the Onyx. Doesn't seem to be any boosting, just uh, going for it. Guess a knockout. <laughs> yeah, a uh, Pokeball, Pokeball, excellent res. Nice 69% catch chance for the beast. Shrubs catching a glowing rat south of Pewter City. I don't know what you guys think about this. I like it. I think this has become more and more prevalent with, with the races, but glowing rat is, I feel, is really good. Gets you good XP, even non going rat, I feel. Ooh, almost a one shot on the Onyx after Tail Whip. So close. Wing whip, so close. Yeah, not, at least for Pika, not big. a rat will will push Oddish to be level 10 if you catch Oddish on Route 2. Uh, guarantee, all but guaranteeing the Onyx range, and then this helps EV further along and opens the possibility for another XP bomb and Raticate later on. I don't mind catching Pidgey or Rattata here because Pidgeotto and Raticate are not. Hard catches. Gotcha, gotcha. Pidgey is uh, a little bit more risky because then you're essentially you're either catching Pidgeotto or relying on Pidgeotto Pidgeot. So, I don't know. People have different opinions on it. I prefer Rat over Pidgey, but I will take either if given the chance. Yeah, same. We'll deal with the like, repercussions I'll, later. I'll take Rat first, but I'll just take the Pidgey. I 
Yeah, I have no idea how hard hitting excellence on B-drills are, but it probably moves like Butterfree, so it's probably worse than like a 69%. <laughs> not not <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, but sheep doing the standard fight here double kicking the god twice and then setting up a tail whip on the onyx as defense so that yep. you can uh, also double kick the onyx twice to bring down its rock solid defense what's the closest you made it to the gym before your lore expires uh i have been in the gym when the oh, you lore made expires. it into the gym. <laughs> okay yeah well, that's only happened once, though. Like all of the spawns were perfect along along my movement path. Yeah. But more often than not, you'll see it. Uh, you'll see it drop outside the gym, whether it's around the fence, behind the gym, or right before you enter. Uh, King Trubs being the last to enter the Brock fight, but King Trubs very did spend much a ahead lot of catches. Yep. Ten, get ten. Like, we got evolutions. We got all the catches you could ever want, aside from Frick. Unfortunate, no Fricks to be seen today. No maybe. Fricks to be seen. I Bulba, Bulba say Sora, that. Bulba, Bulba Sora. I want to say that. Back in he snack. hasn't quite gotten Butterfree snack. yet, but I might be making that up. I just didn't see Butterfree in the screen. I'm uh, pretty sure Butterfree. Tracker, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah Tracker. Butterfree... I think Butterfree. If it evolved. Yeah. I think it's evolving on this fight. Like, it yeah. like a sliver. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm still waking up, okay, I'm sorry. That's nice snack for Spider. Yeah, Joker, we gotta get your uh, your volume peaks so you can wake both of us up. <laughs> well, just have someone get shiny and I'll just start yelling. Nick, isn't it like... Yes, one, it is. Yes, <laughs> I don't care. I still, I still slept, like, what? Five, six hours. I mean, I did too. <laughs> Sounds like a personal problem. I mean, it is. No, it's you're, a, you're talking, we you're aspect. Talking, you're talking to somebody that usually needs like 10 hours of sleep to, to feel well rested. So, yeah. Damn. Okay, Spider's about to spend an outrageous 500 polka dollars. There's Trubs' Butterfree. See, I wasn't lying. Yeah, I backed you up. Spider getting sushi. I would not eat that sushi. What do y'all think is the most edible Pokemon? Um, Eevee? I'm just kidding. No, 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 <laughs> dude, no, no, dude. No, dude. No, dude. I regret asking this question immediately. Uh, that was a joke. Um, that was a joke, right? Yes. <laughs> question marks in the chat. Uh, um, sheep now getting magic card. Get your swift ass. What out. would be the most? Wait, okay, most edible. You no, know, I, I, I'm going to immediately. I'm rescinding this question. Well, We're if you like I crab, mean, then it's gonna be. Crab. I mean, isn't isn't the isn't the answer always something like yeah, you know, crabby, uh, maybe crawdunt because you know lobster, uh, appleton, that's an easy one. But aren't there words? Tatsugiri. Oh, yeah, Tatsugiri is a straight up sushi. Sorry, voice crack. Tatsugiri is a straight up sushi. That's right, Amber. What about uh, G Max uh, Alcrini? Slurpuff, yeah. Oh, yeah, cake. Duh. I'll just take the cake. Yeah, Slurpuff, Alcrimi, yeah. When's the pizza Pokemon coming? Uh, Good when question. We get, when we get a Pokemon game that's based in Italy, Game Freak, if you're listening. <laughs> No, Al Creamy, G Max Al Creamy. There's the cake. Yeah, that's the Pokemon you eat. Okay, so regarding Vanillix, I wanna, I, I, I like I hate to that think, Pokemon. I like to think that there's a, there's a chicken and egg conundrum in the Pokemon world. Like, what came first, the ice cream or the Vanillix? You know. Well, I mean, if you know science, the egg came first. Have you, have have any of you seen that like meme of the the Mega Alakazam against the horde of Vanillix? Yeah, because no. Mega Alkasim has five spoons, one for each of them. Mm-hmm. I've never seen that. <laughs> I've seen that, maybe. It's okay, good. anyway. You, you oh, that's that an optional. Yeah. Oh, no, Trump! Oh, no! Trump's trying to take the risky pass against the youngster, but unfortunately heading it. Uh, youngster Calvin, uh, thankfully only has a Sparrow, should, should go down pretty easily to a tackle or two. Spider getting uh, Clefable on the screen. Lord Clefable. Uh, I believe this is his first catch in Moon. So, gonna switch to Great Balls here on the second controller. Uh, 
gonna rouse it. It's gonna be a, about a 67% chance to get in, assuming that they hit the excellent. Fingers crossed. Game that's an throw. excellent. Ooh, that's a really good excellent. That was super close. Okay, so I screened Clefable, but I was muted because of the phone call. So you <laughs> <laughs> oh no, oh, the breakout. Oh no, it broke out. Gonna go for it again. Gonna rouse yeah. it. Rouse it up. And of course, now Clefable's like jumping around all over the Clefable place. Clefable stopped moving. Well, it's had, oh, but just missed. Oh, missed the excellent. Barely. Oh, just sneak just get in. Cheap just missed the excellent on the Geo dude. I think it wasn't the. Uh... I like how that one gets in. Of course, it gets in. Yeah, of the course, the non excellent gets in no. second throw. So, unfortunately, not going to be as much XP as Spider. Actually, might want. that's might... fortunate there because of the bugs still being in the party, in my opinion. Yeah, I guess it is kind of like a blessing curse flip flop. If the spider had gotten that first try, Metapod Weedle would have gotten way too many extra levels. Um, Interesting. So Weedle was level 10. Does, it, does Beedle, wait, does Beedle, does Beedle get a move on a level 12? Uh, 13, it gets rage, but that's it. Okay, okay. It's not Butterfree. It's not level 13 Butterfree, no. That's correct. Butterfree learning three powder moves at 13. Notably, also learned Psybeam at 16. Could be a great doubles partner for J&J. &J. <laughs> <laughs> Etiquette would agree with me. Wait, did I see Map in the first spot of the bag? Or am I tripping? Uh, yeah. Uh, Trubs usually does this. Swaps, uh, swaps Map to the front. Uh, just for, for ease of access. Like it's just something that he's very used to. I feel like... Use the Pokemon box way more than that, but hey. I guess it depends. You can access the Pokemon box through your party menu if you just hit A on the party and then hit Y immediately after. Uh, you can sort of like mess around with your menus to try and optimize it. Like say you want to mark a ride Pokemon or something. Uh, but everybody has their different like ways of playing the game, different comfort levels, different. Ways that you're Dude, to Spider. Around. Spider went for a glowing Geo. Got the Spider ice deposit. Ice. This could uh, be powder on the Butterfree if it's ginormous. Yeah, glowing Pokemon give greater XP. Uh, Super sized Pokemon can give even greater XP, but this is totally fine. Nah, um, it's fine. It's just uh, 11 on Butterfree. Yeah, it does have a full, full party now. Butterfree at 11.5. That's also Beedrill for Spider. I leave Sheep reloading the room, trying to get one of the spawns that he needs. Doesn't see it. Um, so just gonna go ahead and leave. Reset once more. Uh, looking for... Looks like Clefairy also buying time to reset the Moonstone. Actually. Yeah, you got the Moonstone, yeah. Set the Moonstone timer. Oh, uh, Clef! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I feel like normally it's... Well, I guess it's all preference for the Moonstone timer. Yeah. Normally nice during Paris. PB attempts, you'll set your timer to about like 26 minutes before the day rolls over. Uh, looks like Sheep setting it to about 28 minutes, give or take. This go around. Like. Spider clearing up his party, finally. So no batter, no batter Butterfree. I no like butterfree how Spider out. has no Clefairy. Oh! Do it! Do it! Do it! No! No! Dude, dude. no! Oh, no! I, I respect this only for the fact that one, he spent a lot of time on Clefable, so probably thinking like, all right, don't really want to spend more. Minus time. attack though. Minus attack though. Chancey fixes it all. It does. It was glowing too, and they were in the perfect position to catch it due to just having it put everything out, like out of their party. But I can respect the decision either way. Goodbye, bonjour, au revoir. Don't worry, I won't won't respect it for you. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, I was just gonna say that yes, the Joker has successfully woken us up. Man, glowing chancy, huh? Do you see this fight? Uh, looks like it. Probably wants to secure the one shot on the Sandshrew. Assuming since minus attack. Uh, usually a range you know? or a two shot if uh, your EV isn't 15 at this point normally. 
Do, do you know what could have uh, made this a one shot? Catchy that chancy. Yeah. Yeah. This is this is true. But could have caught also, the chancy and could have done this. Chancy's also, even a better catch rate than than the Clefable. This is true. Uh, Sheepia trying to go for the the Zubat probably just ran into it. Um, catching it here is uh, is okay. Doesn't learn a move on level up. Uh, assuming that you deposit before it does level up. Uh, Zubat and Rock and Tunnel will. Yeah. Everybody going for Zubat these days. I try not going for Zubat in in Mount Moon if I can help it, just because it locks me out of a Golbat catch. Uh, I feel like it's more of a. Later on. Hmm. We get it if we hit it. Type of yeah, exactly. And as you, Pokemon. if any of you have seen my race, uh, Golbat is not a <laughs> not a good catch. Wait, did you try and catch it? I, I did try catching it. Uh, ended up cutting my losses and running away. Uh, I was desperate. My my control was desperate. Oh yeah. Trap's also uh, hitting a Zubat and going for it. Uh, level six Zubat. So unlord uh, should be pretty likely to get in, uh, even if you didn't hit the circle. No Clefairies for Troubles or Spider. See, could should have caught the Chansey. No Maybe Clefairy. Maybe should have. But also remember that. Uh, oh, Spider running into Judy that spawns on him. Very unfortunate. Unfortunate. I like how we have a runner with no cliff, a runner with Clefairy, and a runner with Clefable. <laughs> Remember that only winner advances here, so any time that, like, you basically want to make sure that things are guaranteed from this point out, especially yeah. if you've had a couple breakouts, especially if your uh, if your run might not be going as well as you had hoped by this point, so the risk of investing the time into a chancy that could possibly not get in I think it might outweigh the benefits of if it had actually gotten in first try. Well, every... I don't know the minus attack problems, but if they look like minus attack problems, I'm calling back to this the entire time. <laughs> no, fair. It wasn't by choice, man. Come on. <laughs> it's totally by choice. <laughs> Also, there's just been so much going on that uh, I have not been keeping track of babies, so we're just gonna see these <laughs> ranges as they come. And this Voltorb is... Flinching this Voltorb on uh, Pika feels bad, because it's useless. Minus attack still, still one-shots it anyway. I don't know if that's guaranteed on minus attack or not, but solid. Hopefully gets the double kick on Magnemite. Eevee is level 15, ah! so does have that level 5. Oh, it did! Nice. Oh, it did it! Oh, good, it got Good avoid on the supersonic goal. Yeah, uh, good confusion, dodge. Confusion can be a very troll status ailment that... Uh, Ooh, Glef for Trubs! Right there, right next to the rocket run. Let's go. Yeah, really good to get that before... Uh, before triggering the, the super nerd fight. Can you see not getting the chance he almost cost there if the supersonic hit? <laughs> not, not punished yet, Joker. Not punished, yeah, punished, not punished yet. yet. Yo, just not get lucky, quite right? Yet. Just continue yeah. getting lucky. Yeah, just get lucky. Just simply get in first ball. Simply hit the range. Simply hit the pumps. It's just that easy. J and J for Spider. Let's see how this goes. The way this plays out on AB, I believe, very similar to plus attack on Pikachu, is going to. Headbutt the Atkins and then use, I believe, X attack. X attack here. And then uh, follow it up on Coffin as well on turn two. Pika needs uh, two X attacks here uh, just because of uh, Headbutt being a same type attack in this move on Eevee. So Headbutt gets a 1.5 times damage boost. Pika does not have that, so it needs that little extra boost from the second X attack going to plus four. Exciting raise your attack by two stages, or raise your stat by two stages in this game. Uh, that the first one that needed that. the acid to kill. Yeah. <laughs> Is that or Vine Whip specifically for it. Uh, oh, it was Vine Whip, okay, okay. Or, I don't know, I don't remember if I Bell's think I saw him click acid. acid, but yeah, it's fine. I'm, I'm too used to, to Oddish. I'm, I'm Pika-pilled. 
<laughs> but Spider being the first one, exit moon. Had a solid 14 catches. Pretty pretty standard, pretty average yep. for, for leaving moon at around the 30 late 33 minute mark. Uh Chipia not we're gonna be too far behind. It's going to be 15 catches. Picking up the, okay. I thought Spider was picking up the grades. Yep. I feel like if you don't need anything in the grass, it's better to come from the above and those ledges there. Do you disagree? Is that wrong? Uh, I'm not sure. I've never gone that route before. I usually I will choose to believe you. And, uh, well, in Pika, you know, you usually don't get both on three, so like... Right, and Spider usually already so catching a, an Ekans in, uh, yeah. in route three means that you can just, uh, go straight for those great balls. Uh, picking up three great balls to replenish the stock that he wasted on the on the Cliff Able, and now teaching the, the trifecta of Gen 1 evolution moves. 32 and 30? Is this good or bad? Uh, 32 uh, attack? 30 I, special attack? Well, I'm really asking chat. A neutral spreadsheet real quick. Okay, apparently it's bad. Yeah, 30, 30 special attack at 15 denotes one special attack AV looks like. Assuming no special attack AVs, you'll we'll see 29 with neutral special. Is that including uh, the friendship bonus at this point? The... Uh, the friendship bonus could have kicked in at this point. Um, we'll see on Spider's next level up if, if we pay attention to those stats. But you definitely get it by Misty at the latest. It just depends on your, your movements and how many, how many items you've used. Ekans for Trubs in the grass. Very interesting. The Poké Center was not taking... was not letting Sheep in for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's in now. Also teaching the three moves to Eevee. Oh, what is... 35 attack? That's not much better than Spiders. Only three. 31 special attack? 35, okay, this 31. Seem, this does not seem that good. It doesn't seem much better than spiders. <laughs> A fairy killer doesn't minimize. <laughs> doesn't matter. All EVs are champs in their own right. Uh -huh. uh, 35 attack for, for sheep. I believe that is three attack AVs during the cycle, so. Decent, I guess. I don't exactly know what the, the ideal thresholds are for Eevee, but any offensive stats that you can get to hit and guarantee ranges down the line are, are more than welcome. Okay, let's see. Will the 30% burn, burn happen? Okay, wait. What's Trump's stats? Let's see. 34, 31. Okay, all these special attacks are whatever. <laughs> Spider being the first one to enter the Misty fight, notably is one controlling it. Uh, Buzzy Buzz is a special move, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. So the the minus attack not being not being a factor here. Able to two shot the Starmie down. Buzzy Buzz being a move that guarantees paralysis on the target. Uh, Starmie outspeeds, gets scald off, but in return, Buzzy Buzz times two will uh, para and finish off the Starmie for the kill. Bouncy Bubble is also special, but uh, it's at least light as physical. Chat can tell me, but all these EVC meh. <laughs> I might say meh meh meh. Yes. Shout out to found, the, found this scene of late fan. <laughs> Everybody point and laugh. It's a good game. Ha 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 ha. Let's be burn that next for the next tournament. Sure, you, man. You like good games, I'm like Pokemon. Yes. Can't believe it. Okay, well, she get a. Anyhow, she burned Misty. Um. Yeah. Imagine not one shotting this whole thing. <laughs> Imagine. Screw it, we zippy zap. Uh, Spider did not get burned. Scald is a very solid. Uh, Solid move that uh, can have a 30% chance to burn, uh, which is just time loss. Eevee picks up a burn heal to deal with it because he cannot reliably one shot the Starmie. He could can, given good attack ranges, but uh, no burn for no burn for sheep. We'll see how how Trep's fares while Spider moves on through the Nugget Bridge for the fight. 
Just uh, just get level 18 Pikachu before Misty. It's always guaranteed. Okay. That's it. <laughs> I might have missed this. Did she get confused by uh, by Psyduck's confusion? I don't think so. Noting I think it's just noting a common shot. No, I think I thought it was just in general confusion. Scary to see. Yeah, confusion having a I believe 10% chance to confuse can really uh, swing the fight either way. Oh, minor sorry, movement I thing. But sheep went around the pole, but you could just go under the pole and like cut corners. I think that's a little faster. Yeah, very minor thing. Uh, not sure which is faster. Assuming that, like even, also if you tag the bush, bush is like slow down moving speed ever so slightly, similar to if you're walking in grass. Burned, okay. Trubs gets uh, the death. Uh, oh, still alive! Holy crap! Still alive, thankfully. Should make it out of the fight just fine. Uh, unfortunately, status ailments. Damn! Uh, you, can, you can see the, the lag on Trubs. That's a lot of status lag, yeah. Yeah, battle animations are turned off as the runners turn that off during the, the first options menu, but status animations still pull through, unfortunately. But making it out alive, which is the, the most important part. Scary. How do y'all feel about chicken nuggets? They're good. I love them. I sad had that, some last week. Sad that this isn't chicken nugget bridge. <laughs> oh, I was wondering where you're going with that. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> that was random. I was looking at the chat and it was like, wait, who brought up chicken nuggets? Nope, it's just me. Yeah, chicken yeah, nuggets. Okay. go under the light post there. Did you know that? that did you know that now McDonald's is selling like wedding plans? They can get you like two hundred no boxes of chicken nuggets for your wedding. It Wait, is, is true. Is Evie supposed to one shot this Venonette? Uh, yeah. It's got a. I feel yeah, like the, the thing is that, you know, like the whole like myth rumor that this game was originally made as Let's Go Evie, and then they brought in Pikachu. The first three trainers on this bridge. Uh, have weaknesses to each of Eevee's moves that teach in the Pokemon Center. So Benanat dies to Sissy Slide, Side oh. dies to, to, to Buzzy Buzz, and then Sandshrew dies straight up to, to Bouncy Bubble. Sheep, Sheep, Buzzy Buzz, the Veno, I think by accident. Yeah. The Veno, That's why I didn't the die. Veno was. Ah, uh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I was wondering why it lived, but I saw Buzzy Buzz, I'm like, oh, I think that was a mistake. Maybe Sheep changed move orders? I know some people have Sizzly Slide slot 2, and I think when I run Eevee, I have Sizzly Slide slot 2. And Buzzy Buzz slot 4. I think these runners have it the opposite. See, when I run Eevee, you I don't. don't. Yeah. I just keep it co more consistent with uh, Pikachu, right? So your Thunder, your special attack, electric moves, and slot 4. Yeah, exactly. Like Thunderbolt and slot 4 because that lines up with. Uh... Like Starmie, Thunderbolt slot 4. Whoever teaches Thunderbolt in slot 2 for Starmie, uh, see me after class. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, have we have we run the, the bit on this segment yet? Are we almost out of Mega Bridge? Move what bit? <laughs> I don't know what I, you I, mean. I, I thought I woke you two up with my chance to yell, but you're probably falling asleep again. This is, this is true. Uh, Spider, <laughs> getting into the, the final fight. Uh, Zubat coughing. Talking to the grunt. Well, okay, on get the ready. Bridge, so get in that I'm gonna be, room. I'm gonna be right up against my mic, and then if this portal comes, I'm just gonna yell as loud as possible. I am taking my headset off right now. <laughs> <laughs> We're going straight to speakers. Actually, that would be of course for all of you because then you'll get my feedback from That'd me. That'd be so bad. Yeah, don't do that. Oh, got poisoned. Uh, Rip. Unfortunately, didn't get the uh. coughing, not getting paralyzed there. Smog, I believe, has either a 30 or a 40 chance to poison. It's pretty high for a. Yeah, I thought it was 30. Yeah, but it's like a 70% accurate move. Smog is stupid. Smog is a weird move. It's Smog a Gen sucks. 1 move if there's, there has ever been a Gen 1 move. <laughs> Just be thankful that uh, that Gen 1 rap isn't a thing in this game. Otherwise, you get trolled by the last in the... at the beginning of Mount Moon. 
That's a bell sprout. That there is, in fact, a bell sprout and not a squirtle. Half a second, I almost was gonna get. Oh, excuse me. So Smog <laughs> is in this generation 30 BP, 70 accuracy, and a 40% chance to poison. That's so weird. That's 40%. 40%. Oh. I feel like moves yeah. that have a secondary effect are usually either 10% or 30%. Maybe even 50%. 40% is really weird. Uh, Spider the doing move the first, uh, first notable trainer skip here. Uh, nice paralyzed by the. By, uh, My sheep, yeah. Sheep. My sheep, solid. I'm not picking able to one shot the coffin. Maneuvering between the two picnickers. Very solid. What do you think of this dumb idea? So, so if your catch count's not looking good entering Moon, you just evolve the Magikarp into Gyarados. Brother. Brother. It doesn't learn any moves, right? It learns ask Tackle to stop. 15. Well, learn, yeah. okay, learns one move. Tackle. Oh, Go Meowth for the Sheep. Meowth. Meowth for Sheep, wow. We'll see, if, we'll see if Sheep goes for four more after this. Um, <laughs> Likely not. Unfortunately, missing the excellent. Missing there. the excellent. Uh, referencing that in in Vermilion City, there is a uh, there's an NPC that's sitting on a bench. If you catch three or five Growlithes or five Meowths in your respective version, you can get the alternate uh, evolved version in Arcanine or Persian as a ride Pokemon. Uh, very slow though. Good for XP. Bad for time. And obligatory in AOP. We're not doing AOP. You should never do Meowths. Meowths in general, or...? In the... What Nick was the AOP thing? <laughs> skipping both picnickers? And get, really no, get. not skip, sad. Notably skipping not skip. <laughs> you take the, the above route going through and doing like a couple of Lexus skip type movements over by the hiker skirting the edge of three trainers' visions at once. Uh, not gonna you don't really come close to the bird keeper. Yeah. Only, only saves you about two seconds waiting to, to pass that youngster that Trubs just passed. All three runners. That was decently close to the vision of the, the top trainer, but yeah. there are, there are, like uh, there are like, visual cues that you can use to determine when you're safe. It's like grass yeah. along the ground. So, so you know how every, like everyone goes like up and then down and then over, right? Mm -hmm. I I try. I wanted to try to find a path where you could just go like straight or like diagonal. <laughs> and I tried for like two seconds and I gave up. <laughs> there probably is one. Just like just due to how math works, there absolutely is a path like that. But yeah. But yeah, you can actually uh, knock skip occasionally won't even save time because occasionally you can just hit the youngster cycle where you can just go. I don't know. You need like some type of bridge movement, but you can just make Nox get irrelevant. Everyone waited though, so they didn't. But it's just totally fine. Two seconds is a drop in the bucket. Can add up definitely over the course of the run, uh, but two seconds is fine to drop if you're not confident in skipping a tra trainers like that. I advocate for it because it's easy. Ignore I, that I didn't hit it. Or I tried that I not skip it. for a bit, and then hit the hiker numerous times, and then vowed to never do it again. Uh, see, there's a complete safe way to do it. Alright, I'm listening. Uh, need visuals to show. But if you just hug the wall and just like... So you know how Alexa skip some runners approach it slower by like... Really hugging the wall? Like, mm -hmm. they run into the wall and just go up? If you just do that... The hiker can't see you, and then if you're doing it that slow way, the, the youngster is usually turning down. So then, when you're going past the youngster's vision, oh, you can it's just go already moving, through. and then you can just go straight through. And you don't even have to worry about the bird keeper. I see. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Chat, take notes. Take like notes. I said, if you can, if you can figure out how to do like the the nugget bridge movement correctly or whatever, I think you could just make Nox get like completely irrelevant. Because then you could just hit the youngster cycle and just not wait at that youngster. Because T-Pat said he was doing, he was get, getting like that kind of cycle. Um, but I don't know what exactly. Like I don't know when that 
the youngster like loads onto the screen, right? In bridge, mm -hmm. like it's somewhere on bridge. I just don't know where. Yeah. Uh, keeping track of our cash counts coming out of Cerulean, Spider being the furthest ahead in terms of progression with 14, uh, Sheep being just behind with 16 catches, and then King Trubs not too far behind Sheep with 15 catches. So I would say that the order in which I mentioned those are the order in which uh, they are ahead currently, possibly. Sh Spider and Sheep probably along the same... Vulpix? On the same pace. Two foxes, two quick ones. Two quick ones to double. Perfect line. Yada yada yada. I don't actually know where that reference is from. I just no, it's... I assume it's like yeah. Counter-Strike or something. It's uh, James Bond. I think it's Goldeneye. I stand corrected. Anyway, Route 6. Uh, spider grabbing the rare candy. Uh, important to grab that candy uh, there. Uh, you'll need a good amount of candies to not only evolve your... or Not evolve, but level up your Staryu. Uh, level up your Starmie. Uh, but also... Pidgeotto. Rare candy your... Nice ducks. Your pony. Nice ducks. Spider not seeing anything else that they want here, just going easy. to make the easy angle trainer skip and head right into Vermilion for the shop as Sheep coming up on picking up the lure, and we'll see how his Route 6 fares. Uh, Route 6, you can see things like uh, for Eevee specifically, Vulpix, uh, Jigglypuff is also a good catch to have here, especially with Moonstones. And then you can also have Abra, and then your your choice of either bird or rat. Or Was duck. Sheep the only one to get double Moonstone? Uh, I'm assuming Sheep I, got double. I believe so. I didn't pay attention to Spider's uh, stall shop there, so I don't know what his inventory looks like quite yet. But... Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I saw Moonstones. That's right. I would have seen the Moonstone spiders. Uh, Spider did sell the fossil, so not keeping it for safety. Um, yeah, Jigglypuff for being, uh... sheep. Oh, and the fox. Nice. Solid route for, for sheep. King Trub seeing Glowing Pidgeotto. I think another bird, possibly a duck. Hoping to see things like uh, Firefox and and Puffball. Okay, Two that... Pidgeotos. Are okay, that... Three Pidgeotos. Okay, at least there's one Jigglypuff. Okay, that that movement past the old man was kind of scary. So that old man also is is actually one of the people that aren't part of the blind club in this game. That he could see you kind of far, so it's a little sketchy. But oh, hits the Pidgeotto sheep does. Yeah, let's see if sheep ends up running away or deciding to catch it. Runs let's away. See him running. Yeah, going for this, uh, going for this Vulpix that he meant to encounter. I pay attention to see if Spider got one turn, zero turns, or two turns on the boat entrance. Ooh, yeah. Trubs hits the optional. Oh no. Uh, it's Charmander. This is I believe it's a Charmander, so yep. King Trubs can just bounce bubble. bubble it. Uh, just unfortunate to, to miss that trainer skip. Second very... optional for Trubs. Yeah, very, very unfortunate. Um, Trubs hitting two optionals. Uh, this trainer skip, you can basically abuse the fact that you can't fight two trainers at once in this game, um, skirting the line between both of them to make it through. Yeah. Catching the duck. Does Spider knee or does a chief Poor knee Greg balls. Indeed. Because, personally, I don't like catching this duck because it locks you out of old duck. Um, yeah, nobody likes this duck as far as I know. Later, also but... Also consider the fact that Sheep did get double Moonstone, so he does have like an extra out in that. So this essentially trades uh, early XP for a catch later on, uh, but having that bonus Moonstone does help with the uh, the catch route buffer, so to speak. I did not look at Trump's screen. I don't think Trump has double Moonstone though. Catching the rat too, okay. Uh, no, probably didn't hit it. actually mean to, to run into the rat. Sheep already has a, a small rat and gonna go yep. for a big rat on route 10 more than likely. Sheep oh! Does hit the 
Uh, she was like speed. perfect alignment and then went to the left and I was like, what? I think went to the left a little bit, but it was fine. It yeah, was too it was late. Totally it was after. It was like right after passing the thing. Yeah, so that is two moves since for sheep. Um, going to sell the people Keeping up, holding the, the fossil. fossil. Yeah. Uh, for for those of you who don't know, the fossil uh, can be turned in at Cinnabar Island for uh, an Ammonite or Kabuto, depending on the fossil that you pick up. I think all of our runners picked up the Helix fossil this race, uh, so going to be turning in that for an Ammonite if their cash route becomes a little bit more dicey than they would like. It is about a 20 second detour, uh, so the runners will have to keep that in mind uh, in their late game decision making, depending on how the race plays out. Yeah, I, Sheep's, I'm pretty sure, the only one that caught it. So Trubs has the two-turn Vermilion, yuck. Yeah, I think there's a way... So, there's two ways you can approach this. So, entering the cuts, or at least, like, cutscene, quote-unquote, uh, has you turn your character twice, once towards your rival, and once to lock down. Uh, you can either, like, jiggle your control stick a little bit towards the right to try and avoid that, or I've seen Sai J do this. Um, approach vertically down from the right, at a specific position, and that also allows you to skip the uh, the two turn animation. I just aim for one turn, and then if I get zero turns, it's good. <laughs> Again, saves saves frames, maybe a fraction of a second at most, but these like little optimizations here and there really do add up over the course of the run. Uh, spider Sheep also got two. Up, spider exiting SSN solid boat rival fight is going to make their way over to to the Route 9 section. Uh, only has 15 catches, notably. Uh, I don't know if Eevee is level 18 or not. This could prove to be an issue later on. I think, I I think, it, I think it is. Okay. I'm pretty sure, but <clears throat> it's been a while. I did not look at the entire Rival 3 fight from Spider. <laughs> I was watching <laughs> catches. Watching catches, watching uh, animation skips. Trubs is level 18 for the Rival fight here. Bellsprout Volumes level 16. Nice HP AV for the Bellsprout. Yeah, this, the way this fight usually plays out for EV, you'll expect Buzzy Buzz, uh, the Pajiro, to take it out and then flip over to uh, boosting EV's attack to uh, headbutt and Sicily slide the following two pokes. Uh, Pikachu, you have the option of one controlling this fight if you're already level 21 and not minus special attack. Uh, Thunderbolting the Pidgeotto because, for whatever reason, Rivals Pidgeotto just always didn't stand attack until he becomes a champion. Uh, so, getting rid of the Pidgeotto is the first priority for this fight. Yeah, not, nothing runners can do about it, but level up to battle are slow. If their Pokemon's out, if they're in the party, or if they're not fighting, it's fine, but. In battle takes longer because you see the stat screen. But exactly. That just it's not something you like try to do. It's just something that happens one way or the other. You're like, oh, the second controller Pokemon levels up right before the fight. Cool. But and then, but there's nothing you do can do really do about it. Yeah, exactly. Well, it looks like everybody getting through just fine. Sheep just going to hit Sizzly Slide on this. Oddish. Yeah, Spider's 19. Okay. Uh, Eevee takes this fight as a one controller fight, setting up a guard spec. This opposing Eevee does know both Growl and Side Attack, so it can be kind of a troll, either lowering your accuracy or. Nice flinch. Ooh, attack. nice flinch! Solid flinch, preserving that HP for the next fight. Uh, but having a 30% chance to flinch and uh, forcing your opponent to not move during that turn. Good mechanic. Oh, we see the boat cutscene. Charles is watching it, apparently. Uh, uh there we go. It has been skipped. <laughs> Controller <laughs> paired moments. Success. <laughs> Trev's getting through those controller issues just fine. Not too much of a time loss there. Skip and search. See you later, Boza. I've, if you I've fight never... Surge now, if you fight Surge now, Misty, there'll be a Misty cutscene. After oh, is it Misty that uh, yeah that shows up? I didn't. I've never seen the cutscene, so I wouldn't know. 
Uh, Wait, what, about, the, uh, what about a Misty cutscene? You see Misty. She's she's there in front of, like outside the cup push. If you huh. fight Surge now. Okay. Uh, I think I saw Spider get sand attacked by the sand shrew in this fight. I don't know if uh, you set up a guard spec on this fight specifically. I don't think you do, but. This Ali, could get a little dicey I played it casually and I don't remember. No, I can't remember. Ali, Ali, no, I'm not Ali seeing that second notes. Ali, no. Oh, Ali that's that. a horrible status lag on Spider Sand. Also, I only know that Misty. I only know that Misty's um, there because of uh, Blue Lake Ash. It's not you that I know. Do not speak Blue Lake like Ash. She, on the uh, she takes you. She takes you to Diglett's tunnel. This sure. Nice. Actual time loss. Yeah. So that's another reason why we don't fight Surge now. That's what I'm saying, Jaunty. Okay, Matt only had the one Moonstone, not doing Nido strats. Like the YOLO spider, YOLO that, that girl. Alright, uh, Route 10 for spider. I love Route 10. It's always so much fun. Love is a strong Fear, word. Hero. As a spectator, I love it, okay. Oh, okay, so there's two. Ooh, two Nidos. You catch the, the, the female Nido too. So getting to Nidoran, especially the baby Nidoran, so really good for Spider. Uh, we'll hope for some extra spawns such as Spiro, Krabby. Um, checking to see if Spider has a rat. Does not have a small Rattata, so could opt to go for that as well if it spawns. Uh, rat 10 only having four spawn slots in the grass, so you just kind of have to roll the dice to see what you get. Uh, if you don't get good luck, you can either repel the route and then re-lure to respawn everything, or use the lower light cutscene that's just to south to, to do that as well. Yeah, this Nidoran... Get rid of all spawns that are currently on screen. If this Nidoran went into the box, I would say catch the Nidorina, because it's glowing and it's nice XP. Yeah. But it's going to go to the party. Same. It's, it's going to go to so... the party, yeah, but I, I was thinking the same there is. It's very much worth your time. Yeah, glowing Nidorina right is a solid form of experience, but not worth the party management that Spider would need to do in order to facilitate that. Yeah. Nidorina looks like nice. This is an instant repel from Spider, getting rid of the, the bad catches here because Already having two baby nidos means that he's going to evolve both. Small rat is good here. Still needs rat. Still needs Rattata. And then hoping to see a Spira and a Krabby before we leave the lower life fight. Oh! Like cutscene. Good, excellent. These base throws you can uh, speed up a little with double grades. You're getting for like, I think, nice or something. Nice or greats. Yeah, even um, hitting the no circle with double grates on the smaller catches, like Nidoran yeah. and Tata Spiro, uh, is exceptionally favored. Because so. they don't they don't give like great XP. Exactly. Um, so usually you'll balance your throws and your timings depending on what do I need XP. Oh nice Spiro. Like moon. Very good. Spiro moon. dice. Oh, Spiro. Do I need XP and moon? And then here you just really want the catches, so you want, usually want to throw as fast as possible. Spider is minus attack though, remember? Um, I don't know how much we haven't forgotten. Here. <laughs> Unfortunately. So I know you can you had that double edge some things later on, uh, but most of going to be swapping to things like Clipsy Glow when we get to that and sell it. This is yeah, this is a great uh, route temp for Spider, but I well, think he was like very behind on catches compared to everybody else. He's ahead like in progress, but yeah. I think the other still. If you have, have to repel, if you have to repel the route, the route's not great. Like, okay. I I feel like one bad. repel is decent. One repel is fine. Like that's what I want to say. Like, yeah, you know, two it's repels good. on the other hand. Two repels, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, that's a reset. Just you know, home X. Like that's yeah. But, you can know. confirm repelling the route twice is is actually bad. Can confirm. Do not recommend. In terms of like spawns. Oh, nice flinch on the rat. Gaming. There are four spawns on this route, nice. No Krabby, that's fine. No Krabby, yeah. yeah. Krabby's alright to pass up, because it, uh... 
evolves in four levels, so it's a little extra time, whereas everything else that Spider has caught only evolves in one. Ooh, sheep! Ooh, that was Ooh, close to sheep side. And that is why I always wait for that picnic. I never oh, understand well, the... a glowing Nidorino spawned on top of him. I think that was yeah. regular. Oh, that's regular. Those Sorry, regular, that's not yeah. going. Uh, Optimus yeah, yeah, is a bit understandable. Yeah, I never understand what that picnic cycle really is when I exit the, the camper fight, so I always just wait, because I have gotten seen by that trainer one too many times for my liking. Yeah, I see, at least when I, well, yeah, um, when I walk on that route, usually it's always good. I've only hit her once, and that was after I shit-talked someone about not <laughs> yelling at me, so. Karma, immediately. Deserved. Yeah. Obviously. But every other time, I have not hit her. But if you're doing it on Persian, you always have to wait. So, because she's already looking in the direction, so you can't like YOLO. You just have to wait for her to turn. Blue Sheep is going to go for a male Nido right after this. Oh, two male Nidos. Three, three male Nidos. Three male Nidos. Three. It's a Nido party over here. Oh, it's glowing. Yeah, she went for the glowing one. The other two were not. Trub's right, getting rat spears. Uh, also repelling. Got opt for repelling. Yeah, already caught big rat, already caught Spiro, evolved into Zephyro. So we're gonna Either try those Nidoran. Uh, Spider being the first one. Nice Spiro. Spiro, not good. Nice rat. Nice rat. Nice oh, rat. Nice rat. Let's nice see red. Nice red. Oh no. All right. Yeah, Trub's probably forward. going to just. Uh, Either move forward. If, or... It is moving forward. So if the Firo moved in such a way where he would have run into the Firo like you run behind the, the Pokemon Center, that would have been so troll. You run yeah. away. He the don't hitbox catch on Firo is really weird. Can't speak from experience. That beak is longer than you think. <laughs> okay, so what? So Trubs. Trubs needs a. Really Trub wants to needs a god yeah, Trubs just uh, unplanned both Nidos. So currently has 49 planned on, on his cash tracker. This is not... Trubs needs some real good tunnel luck, some real good tower luck, real good luck from here on out. Wants an Abra. Cement really badly. Catch route. Nope. Oh, I feel for Trubs. I've been in this exact same situation. Uh, spider getting some solid uh, first catches. Caught a Zubat in Rock Tunnel. Um, catching the chop now. Hoping to get Rhyhorn and Graveler to empty out his parties to bring out the Zubat, to bring the Zubat and the chop back out from his box. The sheep guaranteeing the Raticate by Razzing. It's like 90% without the Raz, but as we saw in the early race, Raticate broke out of like two 90%. Somehow. Yeah, getting that Nidorino, XP Nidorino, Nidorino of that catch. Hey Nick, I hear you're really passionate about Rock Tunnel. Can you tell us like why you're passionate about Rock Tunnel? And Dude, why it's your favorite as a, part of the run? Okay, okay. So, as a spectator, I love Rock Tunnel because in my opinion, that I will always repeat, it's like the highest form of expression for this game, as a speed game. You got on-the-fly decision making. You got a lot of catches. You got a lot of trader dodges. Uh, yeah, some like, you know, a mixture of everything that makes me like this game as a speed game, all at once. And yeah, Dude, Trubs, Trubs went back for the route ten. Yep, and caught Krabby. Krabby. <laughs> just catch the Nidorino too. Yeah, at this point, you just kind of cut your losses due to not having enough balls. Yeah. So take I, think it's a Krabby, I think it's a Krabby on leave. I don't know if he's going to stick around. Yeah, he's leaving. Then get the Nidorino. I think it's fine to just move on. It's fine, yeah. Yeah, but... I respect it. Especially considering that if you're paying attention to the race, um, just keeping track of catches and progression here, Trubs is a little bit behind here. Yeah. I, oh, he <laughs> made it Onyx. Okay. Uh, do not go for this. this don't is... go for it. Do not. Yeah, please. no. Yeah, Trip's a little bit behind in progress, and I was hoping that he would get a really good route 10 to, you know, balance balance things out, but got the Is worst route 10 out of all three runners. Nice Onyx. Yeah, Spider, there's like no way that you can get around this Onyx. His head is directly in, in the way, so Spider just opting to take the, the hit 
and run away from it and move on. Oh, we can see Sheep's... Nido King strats? Sheep's Yo, still Nido hanging King out in Rotten. Nido King on the table. So ahead and catches. Yeah, 28 catches before even entering tunnel is so huge. Rhyhorn oh, on the screen. Rhyhorn! Definitely what you want to see from Eevee. The earlier you get, the better. It is the only right option that you have at this point in the game, so spider getting it okay. here is huge. Guaranteed, really guaranteeing this. Yeah, of course it was gonna. Doing some See if she right deposits the Nido King here. Is going to deposit the deposits the Nido King. Yeah, it's not going to bother with that. And, and moves we'll on. To just move on. Yep. Uh, I presume that Chief has literally everything that he would ever want on Route Ten, except for Krabby. Uh, so just moving on with 28 catches in his pocket. Uh, not too far behind so is the catches. Fighter. Yeah, what, 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 what do you want from what, what do you want from Rock Tunnel? Of course, just, uh, I mean Rhyhorn. Everything. Well, but if we how ahead he is. Everything. Yeah, I okay. mean, still you can go without. Still definitely get everything. Okay. You, you can't like if you see Cubone and Machop, you're catching them, even though it takes four. Level. Yeah, it's just good. You don't even have to necessarily evolve them if you get like faster catches later on. You can just like leave them in your box, which I know is some is a valid strategy if you don't want to level up those things and deal with the, the extra move learns and whatnot. I love that correction from Spider. He was gonna deposit the Eradicator and then withdraw the Rhyhorn and like caught himself in the middle of that. It was like, no, 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 I just need to add Rhyhorn to the party. <laughs> exactly. well, I feel like at that point, it wouldn't have made a difference. Well, he's already there. Well then, let me just appreciate his skin. <laughs> <laughs> Details. <laughs> tusk, tusk. Shrub's having a little bit of uh, motion control issues with the, the Cubone and attack patterns, but did get it just fine in the end. And so, Neo King is still in the party. Is this like um, bait? Maybe, we'll see. Uh, Trying to maneuver around the Zubat. Uh, oh! Crabby, you just get, oh. Ah! Are oh. you serious? <laughs> what was that? Oh my god. Okay, Rare Char? That's a great, that's not Rare good. Rare Uh. Okay, this might sound blasphemous. I disagree going for uh, Charmander, specifically okay. considering uh, so, a really high catch count right okay, now. Okay, so. So, I agree with you, but it's rare char. Content. It is rare char. Like, like from from a logical perspective, I would also skip this. Like, I think the smart play was to skip this, however, especially because he, content. especially because he keeps throwing great. But that's not the play we all want. We all want <laughs> to catch spider spots. Oh my god, well, there's the Onyx. Yeah, just run away. Okay, thankfully, Sheep does eventually get the rare char. Uh, is gonna Yay. have that extra cash in his pocket, but did take a little bit longer than uh, he would have liked, more than likely. Yeah, but yeah, de definitely could have skipped it. Um, especially because the catch rate's not great. If, if you have Ultra Balls, then you could Ultra Great Charmander, and I think that would have been fine. Yeah, for um, sure. even with this count. But yeah, I agree. Double greats should have just. Cubone been. for Spider, really good. Yeah, I believe at best that's like sub seventy percent. Yeah. yeah. Double greats, Raz. Yep. So it's not. But that's behind Sheep now. Gonna go for the Scrabbler. Get that Charmander evolved in Char Charmedian. Char Charmedian. Charmeleon almost immediately. Wow, English. <laughs> well, it's like 70% actually, but still. Does get the excellent. Very Chad, solid. did you know that did you know the Charmeleon's Japanese name is straight up just lizard? Makes did sense. you know Chad Room? Charizard's Japanese name is Lizardon, so. Yeah, Lizardon. And Charmeleon's straight up Lizardo. Trivia. Anyway, um, well, you know, 
Sheep got a Graveler, pretty good. Uh, Spider is uh, Spiro evolving. Now please manage your party. You do not need to keep the Nido King any longer. <laughs> Nido strats. I feel like it's bait. <laughs> Baiting. Yep, there's the party Let's manage. Uh, Yay, fight. Bring that Cubone. Gonna take out the Firo. Oh, it's still uh, there! Uh, it's, it's, the yeah, King. Just, just get a bring it's up the, the Cubone and, and shmove. All right. By the way, isn't this like the fourth Onyx that has spawned for Spider? <laughs> so many Onyx. I, I've lost count at this point. Spider is probably just as annoyed as we are for him. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eevee doesn't have the Arcanine backup. Yeah, Trouble's getting closer and closer. Yeah, this is looking more and more sketchy for Trugs as the tunnel goes on. Already on Hiker Klaus with no Rhyhorn, so he only has effectively two more rooms to... Okay, look at all these Onyxes for sheep. Uh, that Onyx is blocking okay, the way who, right there. Who rolled the seed for this race and decided <laughs> to just spawn Onyxes for every single runner? Oh, so Dino, do you YOLO Machop, bros? Uh, yes, if I do not know... Only if the Machop is not already in a jump animation by the time that I click get ready on both controllers. Yeah, okay. It's like, when I first started playing this game, it felt like it always punched, but now it never punches, so I just always go. Yeah, go. Machop is definitely one that you want to YOLO throw on. YOLO throw being a term that we use to uh, basically throw as soon as possible to get uh, either a great or an excellent on the catch. Some attack cycles are better than others. Uh, some some circle cycles are better than others. But Machop is definitely one that you can do it on. Uh, Cubone, I tend to wait a little bit because it likes to either attack or jump. Um, but things like, uh, like Spiro on Route 10, for example, definitely Yolo throw. Can attack, but you can just throw again right after. Um, and you'll get the excellent every single time. Yeah, right now Matt has the two optionals and the other ones have done skips correctly and had not hit an optional. I am um, okay, you can go through the tail, so she could go... <laughs> Trying to I guess. move around these Onyx. Yeah, but I'm off to Repel Lure here. I, I respect the decision for that. Just That's getting the well, way also okay. needs I don't... more things. Just, you just go. Yeah, I would... At just... this point, what is she waiting for specifically? I'm looking at Like, Cubone, sheep, you're, Cubone, you don't Cubone need the Rhyhorn. sheep. Cubone Rhyhorn. Yeah, Rhyhorn specifically. Yeah, but, like, you just go. Yeah, if you don't, I would say, like, repel... I think that's actually... Kanga! Kanga, that was glowing! Kanga! Oh my god. <laughs> Spider should not go for this. But, Spider, you're gonna let us down twice with the chance seeing the Kanga's coming. <laughs> Which is totally fine. Wow, team no, no, I'm, I'm still still not over the chancy, but yeah, going for Kanga. No, no, I don't, I don't endorse that. <laughs> I don't endorse it either. You know, but... you never know. Maybe Spider beats Sophia, gets the Ultra Balls, then doubles. Oh the yeah, for the Kanga. <laughs> Actually, that's a... Kanga's not awful. Not is uh, pretty. Is very likely to. Kanga is an okay catch with Ultra Balls. No, if you do double Ultras, I think it's fine. Let me... I'm gonna pull this up too. I keep exiting out, but I should just leave this open. Okay, Ultra, great, excellent res, 78%. So Ultra Ultra would be like 88%, like 90%. Uh, Trubs is already at the end of Rock Tunnel and no Rhyhorn. Does he cut his losses and go? Or is he yes. gonna stay around? He is cutting his losses and going. So this is gonna be. He goes. Yep. Oh, Trubs is having. So... Oh no! I just looked at Trubs' catch tracker. It is twenty six. Yeah, no, it is bad. Is... Yeah, twenty six ascending tunnel. It's not good. And she like... is an AOP mode, pretty much. <laughs> like, <laughs> I really hope Trubs paid attention to my run earlier because I'm. Venomoth is not off the table for Trubs, let's just say that. <laughs> well, name. right, okay, right now, so uh, another tragic thing about Trubs is tr on the way back from, on the way to Route 9, saw an Abra on the other side of the fence. Oh, Can't no. get it because you have to jump, oh. like, all the ledges and stuff, but, yes. That's so sad. Um, oh, so, 
uh, King Trump hits the rival. You see how the rival turns there? Is it faster to like go up and then go straight so the rival doesn't turn? You're walking I, a little farther. I don't think it matters all too much. I could be wrong, but I just end up. I, I just do what Trump's did right there. Just enter the cutscene as soon as possible. Um. Yeah, Trump's right now. Just is everything else spawns only needs to catch a Magmar, which is fine. Yeah. We got yeah, Magmar enthusiasts on the comm team right now. <laughs> Magmar enthusiasts. <laughs> Magmar truther. Uh, we'll pay very close attention to Trump's escape rope menu here, just to double check whether or not he has the fossil as that backup. If he does, that can he does not salvage it. But if not, um, bless RNG. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm like ninety percent confident that Trump sold the fossil. Yeah, I think we'll all the runners sold the fossil. Thing. No, she she kept the fossil. Yeah, she, she kept, kept it. it. Okay. Yep. Which she Which does is... not need it. Yeah, it was just like when you keep it, you don't oh, need it. Oh, Rhyhorn for sheep, and it's glowing. Oh, Rhyhorn at that. That's so it's really for good. I think Trub's just kind of banking on the fact that he is a little bit ahead of Spider in terms of progression. It's not saying much due to Spider having five patches up on Trub's, uh, but really at this point, you just have to really hope that. Uh, the RNG goes in your favor from this point out, because if not, uh, things are going to be looking kind of bleak. I still don't think Trump should lower for a tower. What does Trump so? need in tower? Ghastly already has Cubone, already has caught a Zubat in, in Moon, so locked himself out of that. So yeah, the only thing I need is Ghastly, so I would I would agree with that statement. Okay, yeah. yeah, it makes sense, makes sense. Um, actually, tr so if, if stuff just spawns, then, um, Trubs doesn't even need to catch Magmar. Could nine tails it up. Yeah, is, is putting his eggs in the Pidgey Pidgeotto Pidgeot, uh, basket, basket. as I see it being marked yeah. right now. Yep. If Trubs gets a... If Trubs does get a Vulpix, um, can grab a Fire Stone to evolve it, so that'll be one extra catch. Uh, no Fossil for Trubs, um, so is going to need to come up with with something along these next couple of catch routes in order to make up for, for lost progress. Kind of wondered if Trubs considered luring for this route, to be honest. Kind of like, canceled it, but... That's viable. You'd only really... I don't know. It's it's debatable depending on how desperate you are. I um, kind of think it's the moment. There nice are Onyx, only four another spawns. Onyx. Oh my gosh, so many Onyxes this this race. It's so <laughs> don't go Onyx, for Onyx by the dozen. Yeah, don't go for Onyx. Even with I mean, Ultra Paul is probably not that bad, but don't go. Uh, for Onyx. Interestingly enough, noticing that Sheep is one controller is on Pokeballs. Did Sheep run out of Great Balls? Maybe. Uh, possible with the how many great balls went into the rare char. Oh yeah, that's true. And he's also very up and on catches. Yeah, he has been catching so much. All right, it's Clefairy time, level twenty-five. Good flinch stall. Um, we have seen Oko moves be a thing from Metronome, and is in Oko range due to. Uh, Boo. Due to being, equivalent or lower level than the Clefairy, so... Like... She I mean, yes, Boo, but Trubs really, really needs good RNG from this point on. Needs to see Yeah, okay, I'm just saying... Here. It's good from... from We want to see the racers do good things, but... We want the entertainment. Wait. Wait. Uh, not seeing anything on Route 7. Not, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also liking to skip the Firestone. Uh, can pick up a Firestone in in Mansion if he does see a Vulpix on Route 8 here. We really, really want to hope to see Vulpix, Abra, that sort of thing spawn in the next 20 seconds for Trubs. Uh, Spider, uh, doing Nido King strats here. Uh, Nido King, Jab. woo! Nido King, let's go! No metronome for Spider today. Poison Jab, one shots of Clefairy very easily. Due yeah, to get that out of timing. here. As Sheep entering tower for the that rival fight. So it wasn't bait at the end. Yeah, yeah keeping, it wasn't. The Nido, keeping the Nido in the party all that time. 
Right. Manifest good RNG for Trubs. Nope. Uh, uh, oh, God. Well, he's still trucking. Still yeah, going forward. You can't, you can't do anything at this point except move forward and hope that you get everything and then some. So now... Routes. This is interesting. Okay, so the options right now, you can catch Tangela and Magmar. Yeah, once you once Trubs deselects Vulpix from his tracker, will it be at 48 planned? Um, Tangle of Magmar is the thing. Uh, does Abra! Abra for the Abra for Spider. Abra for Spider. Doing a good job making sure that he's not in Abra's line of sight. Going to nab this. Wait, thing. Spider doesn't have Puff. You can also go for Puff here, right? Or would that not be worth it? Uh, you can also go for Puff here, uh, especially- I mean, it's that right there. Yeah. Well, Definitely. I would say, actually, because of the uneven count... Uh, I mean, Spider could also just, like, not evolve Ninetales, for example, and just- Oh, yeah. Catch that I would yeah. That. Yeah, no, I would do that. I would catch yeah. the Jigglypuff. Not also, the catching fire, so. Jigglypuff here is optimal because it'll go straight into the box. Uh, you don't have to worry about it gaining any levels, whereas Abra needs that one level for its evolution. Yeah, That's go for the Puff. Here. Uh, Trub's at very questionable HP here, um, is getting outsped by the Raticate, will need to possibly heal. Gonna have to bring out the second controller to secure the Yeah, fight. bring it out the 2C for the heal. Right, get a bouncy bubble and then super the EV. Okay, Jiggly got in after a breakout. What is, what is Trubs going to do for J and J, considering no Rhyhorn? What are all these options for that? Um, the old sack strats with fairies. Mm. Yeah. I mean, it, there might be other stuff, but that's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> yeah, seeing what, yeah, Trubs does have Wigglytuff and uh, Clefairy to work with for the sack strats, but definitely not what you want to see. Just hopefully it has, hopefully hits all the ranges. Hopefully it gets to hide out just fine, considering the the unfortunate luck that he's had so far. Spider sinking modest here, as they should. Ensures that every Pokemon caught from now on has a plus special attack, minus attack nature. Very important for the end game. Could sit quiet. So, You'd get outsped by a couple of things. But, yeah, as we saw, you would run right quiet, right starving. That's not me. <laughs> get out of here. All right, check uh, that that bit off the list. <laughs> so we are creatively bankrupt, Chad. Please forgive us. So Spider could skip coughing. Spider Sheep can just go without Ghastly easily. Mm -hmm. Definitely yeah, it's really going to be dependent either. on Route 17 for sure. I think all of our runners are going for either Pidgeot or Pidgeotto, depending on how their catch route plans out. Due to just not having the bird right now. And depending on which one of those they catch will probably reflect on how they'll take Sea Skip and Mansion. All of them are running Eevee as stated before, and they have the crappy coughing catch, because coughing sucks. <laughs> Two climbers uh, hitting level like 28 so for that Clefairy, uh, so hitting double edge there means no, no fun for us. today. No fun for us. And all the better for the runners. No content. Rip. We'll see what happens, but right now, Spider's position is looking pretty good. Yeah. Like, there's a lot left, but... Yeah, Trub's a couple trainers ahead of Spider right now. Spider being seven catches up on Trub's. So it's, I would probably put Spider at roughly a minute ahead of Trub's currently. Obviously that will change considering how the cat traps diverge later on. Uh, Sheep just entering Celadon City right now with 
35 catches. So, still, still anybody's game. Uh, we'll see how the RNG plays out later on. I think Charles has to get really lucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, yeah, ever since leaving Route 10 and getting that horrible... horrible ever since fun. entering Route 10, I would say. <laughs> Fair, fair. Like... <laughs> but yeah, no, it's really sad to see. It's unfortunate. I will say, though, uh, she was, like, extremely ahead in catches. You know, going AOP mode there in Rug Tunnel in Route 10. However, I kind of blinked and then Spider was at 33 catches, which is, like, very close to 35. So, yeah. My money's in Spider of... at the moment. A lot of Sheep's catches were kind of front-loaded on Route 10, just due to having all of those evolutions during Route 10, whereas yeah. it's just mostly catches in Rock Tunnel as opposed to the evolutions that Spider had as well, so it kind of just true, true. out in the end. And that Avrin and Jiggly is really good. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Getting plus two on, on a single route heading into Celadon is always what you want to see. Joe might have to YOLO Avra. So bad. We'll get there when we get there, but Trubs is just taking this one step at a time, just moving forward as he should. Uh, just hoping that uh, if he plays his cards right from here on out, that Lady Luck will, will smile on him. Yo, should I imitate this scene and stand on a rolly chair? I'm sitting on a rolly chair right now. Do Ryan it! Has left yeah, do it! Come on, man! Go! <laughs> No gift subs, no bits, no follower go. Just do it straight up. <laughs> Check the OSHA violation spit off the list. <laughs> that was wait shit. Oh, sorry. That was a bit that we were doing on like every run. That's all you can talk about during that session. Apparently, you can uh, if you're on Pika, you can do like cursed walking Pika. Yeah. I mean, I used to do that all the time. I just do I metal gear. I just do metal gear jokes at that part of the run. And then, I can't get- uh, someone got it. I feel like it was Sandy, but could have been someone else got Curse Pika in this tournament. Maybe a couple people have. But, there's a way to like, consistently do it, and I forgot how to. It's sad. I just poured my first cup of uh, tea of the run. Stay hydrated, gamers. Can't Captain stay just gonna dehydrate you. Anyway, uh, Trump's <laughs> gonna go ahead and enter this JJ fight, notably uh, without Rhyhorn. Uh, didn't notice what he pulled out of this box. Probably a sack poke, poke like Joker had mentioned before, uh, just to divert the attention away from Eevee so it doesn't get double targeted. Uh, going for Rhyhorn. Okay, cool. Um, Graveler is kind of bulky, so gonna set up a X special attack and Glitzy Glow to set up that light screen to prevent Weezing doing too much damage. Uh, Graveler being the one to get crunched here. We'll see if. Uh, okay, Weezing going for Toxie on Eevee. It's okay. Does Eevee have enough friendship to uh, break out of it? Uh, at this point, not sure. I mean, you're healing anyway, but I meant yeah. like, on the last turn. It could have yeah, been. Does, oh, it's turn around. Antidote turn two does get turn around, so probably able to expel if you get lucky with Power of Love, um, which has a chance to like allow you to live on one if you were to, to faint or expel negative status effects. Just make it through the fight just fine. Um, assuming... Successful. Yes. Uh, 27 EV, not level 28 quite yet. I don't think, looking at the XP bar, not gonna hit 28 by Giovanni, so I'm expecting boon strats out of King Trubs with that Graveler in the second slot. Boom strats? Boss chain. Yeah. Slower, we'll, but... We'll probably see it out of... Slower, but safer, in theory. Um, we'll probably see it after this archer fight. Um, 
a Graveler can set up two X attacks and hit self destruct on on Graveler to take out the Persian while Eevee cleans out uh, the right horn with the bouncy bubble. Well, King Trops is trying his best, chat room, okay? This is still anybody's race. I. Sure. Surely on, the man. RNG gets balanced out uh, to an average amount. God, yeah, he's gonna have a rough time, you know, catching up with those catches and then God starving. Just watch. I'll know God's God's on the same time. <laughs> okay, so let's. So as Spider goes through this uh, this change fight and, and Sheep does the whole roller chair business, let's take a look at Trubs' tracker and see like what he actually needs to do to pull this back. So currently has that. 49 plan. Um, this includes the Pidgey through Pidgey outline, uh, includes Tentacle. Um, so theoretically, it just needs a one-off catch, like you mentioned, Tentacle, Magmar, that. Yeah. Eevee going down, unfortunately, on, on a Spider screen. Ooh. Been a sludge bomb crit or something? I wasn't. I was looking. I didn't quite catch that because I was so concentrated. Uh, I was looking at the tracker. tracker. Oh, yeah. didn't get the one shot on Weezing, so probably got uh, return killed then. Kind of unfortunate. But um, so does still have Vulpix mark, which um, yeah, I don't know where yeah. he can get Vulpix anymore. So that'll be so the only way that you can get Vulpix at this point is on the way from beating Erica going into Sulfco. So yep. I would assume then 48 is more of an accurate count, which means that Tangela and Magmar uh, did Victory Bell. Victory Bell. Some combination of those have to be on the table uh, before you enter the endgame boss rush. Yeah. So um, not impossible. Just needs everything to spawn basically from here on out. Yep. Uh, Sp Spider Gang Kadabra Evolve going to be a nice plus one for them at 34 caught at this moment. Cheap uh, going to be entering the J and J fight fairly soon as well at 35 catches. So I'd say Spider is definitely out in front. Yeah, 100. percent Depending on how things go. Uh, the the second place position is probably to be determined at this point. Minus attack Eevee, by the way. Minus attack Eevee, by the way. Level 27 Eevee, by the way. <laughs> oh gosh, I just realized that Trubs is going for uh, for this. Uh, barely not 28, but is at a good enough HP threshold right now such that uh, he's not in kill range of the Persian. Burning the Persian is really like one of the strategies that you can use on Eevee uh, cuts Persian's attack in half, uh, which includes the attack bonus from critical hits. So very safe range there, and then heals right back up to play with this bouncy bubble on the right one. So making out just fine in terms of fights. I'm fully expecting Trubs to go for the 5 stack of Ultra Balls in a hideout. Uh, you get 5 Ultra Balls from Ace Trainer Sophia in Rock Tunnel, the trainer would be Vulpix and Kadabra. Uh, you can get 5 in hideout if you just hang left as you exit uh, the elevator on B1F. And then you can also get a 3 stack over in Pokemon Tower. And honestly, I expect Trubs to go for all, all the Ultra Balls at this point, knowing that you need to get basically many, many bad optional catches here. Uh, you need all of the Ultra Balls that you can get to try and secure those. Keep taking out the Arbok here. Let's see if the Weezing can go down one shot. Cheeks. Uh, Eevee is level 29, uh, so this is most likely a range. Gonna expect one more time to bring Eevee up to plus 4. Hit Glitzy Glow on the Weezing, and it does go down in one shot. It's so a knockout. Solid, solid fight from Sheep. Mm -hmm. No 5% levitate. No 5% levitate. <laughs> we don't curse. We don't curse our runners like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I stood there real quiet this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
understandable. Uh, Trub's getting the Sky Dash ability allows him to fly right back to Lavender Town uh, flight, in hopes of flight, that. Flight. In hopes of that ghastly spawn. Thank you, alliterations. I'm interested in seeing what Spider does here with Maya's attack, Eevee. And how to do that version. I'm aware that there's like a, there's a Buzzy Buzz strike, but I'm pretty sure that Spider taught over Buzzy Buzz for Glitzy Glow. So we're gonna see X attack, so yeah. Sisley Slide coming out here. Fake out for the setup. Gonna hit that Sisley Slide, gonna have Persons attack. Oh, okay, that was Going scary. to Super Potion on this turn because that is the next slash will kill. Yeah, through the burn. 100%. Take note of the slash damage here. Critical That's hit. That's another crit. Critical. Yeah, but as you can see, it didn't even do half of Eevee's HP. Um, another, another crit. crit. Jeez, what are these crits? Slash is a high critical hit ratio move. We'll crit one in eight times, but for all intents and purposes, one hundred. It can also happen. Spider. Yeah, it can also happen three, four times in a row. Persian was like, uh, yeah, just keep gambling, keep gambling. <laughs> Spider making out just fine. Keep entering the Geophyte as well. Going to be healing up that Eevee. Probably going to be doing the same thing. X attack, Sisley slide. Uh, maybe a heal here and there. And then finishing off that version. Uh, King Trubs in tower. Has not seen a Ghastly yet. Uh, thought about the Chansey for a, a <laughs> split second. Uh, oh gosh. Considered I'm gonna it. Pondered upon it. But decided not to. Uh, I'm gonna look up that Chansey catch route. It is in my notes for oh my God. whatever reason. Let's see, Pokemon Tower. Uh, two controller ultra great excellent Raz is a 60.4% chance for Lord Tower Chansey. So, depending on whether or not Trev's Lord could have been okay, probably as good as the Clefable and Mount Moon in terms of catch rate. Honestly, like, Considering Trubs' position, might not have been a bad idea. Uh, get Eevee a little bit higher XP, as well as um, some evolutions to, to boot. And check this party right now. Uh, is going to lure now. Um, really hoping for a ghastly spawn post cutscene. Considering that this is the widest floor that has like the most open space for Pokemon to spawn. Looks like Sheep went, got through the fight just fine, so all of our runners getting through hideout unscathed, thankfully. Uh, Spider entering the tower section of the run. Uh, looking at their tracker. Um, still needs Ghastly. Uh, Sheep also just needing Ghastly. Uh, so really just one catch from our runners Max and Tower here. I was picking up that rare candy, really hoping for a gas in the next three seconds. Gonna stick around a little bit for spawns. If he doesn't get ghastly here, um, he's gonna have to think of another backup. Uh, going to reset the room. Okay, understand. Instant ghastly. Okay. Really good uh, Pretty gamble good. paid off. Um, so, Ghastly is now marked on King's Trevor's Tracker. In the, in the nab, this Ghastly, make it stand still. Ghastly also for Spider, really good. Um, just gonna go for the double great. Double great great should be totally good for Ghastly. Probably around an 83% chance gets in. Very solid. Spider switching to Ultra Greats here. Going to more than likely secure it. Ultra Great without the circle is an 81.4% chance to get in. Gets in just fine. Trub's getting those extra levels on his four level evolutions, as well as getting Eevee to a higher level for the, the Tower Justin James fight. Which I feel is like a really scary fight for Eevee, specifically. Um, this has been noted multiple times, and I am only now seeing it for myself. Uh, Justin James' fight goes along the lines of you Glitzy Glow Arbok and expect with 
the secondary Pokemon. Uh, Bouncy Bubble, Arbok, Heal Eevee. Off to the side, literally says, do not get unlucky. Um, assuming this means Sludge Bomb crit on Eevee. I'm gonna and, love uh, and not getting not. unlucky strats. Yeah, so the got here unlucky Pokemon part means don't get double targeted. Yeah, don't get double targeted. Don't get crit by Sludge Bomb. Uh, that's a poison jab. Sets up light screen. Oh, Gets that. No, dude. You gotta be kidding me. Would have been fine if it wasn't for the fact that. He got crit, and, oh. and we're gonna uh, we're gonna see what Trebs decides to do here. But my, based off of his pausing, it yeah, I would expect that this is like a DNF. DNF. Um, yeah, and and there it is, uh, officially DNF fucking Trebs. Really, really unfortunate run. Tried to try to salvage it, uh, but just due to the hand that Trebs was dealt, um, unfortunately, is not going to be able to continue the run. Honestly, would have kept going a little because what if these people? I respect that he games? kept going. <laughs> okay, yeah, like, I respect honestly, the effort. Like, I know, like, I feel like a good amount of people would have just like straight up DNF, like not getting a Rhyhorn, not getting spawns in Route Ten. But this is just honestly the straw that broke the camel's back. And honestly, like, good for Trebs for trying to salvage, like. The later portion had a decent hideout, but this is just too much to bear, unfortunately. But GG's to Trubs, a very valiant effort from from him. Uh, but now this is a two-horse race. Let's see what happens. Yeah, GG's on the run, Trubs. Fortunately, you're done for the tournament, but hopefully. But now we've got nope. uh, got Trubs in chat now. Trubs, that it first off a valiant effort trying to salvage the run. I I did everything I could. I just did everything I could. Okay, but you should have caught. You should have gone. You should have gone for the chancy. I was I was still trying to salvage the run, not kill it at that point in time. No, but you needed the chancy to salvage the run because your cash count was like awful. I, I was planning on I was planning on Magmar in uh, in Mansion. Yeah, I just don't we have were, it on the tracker. Yeah, we were like, theorizing with, with what no, you could have done to salvage the run. Um, like, saw you no, like saw uh, you think a second about the chancy, but I respect. But with it. no ghastly swans at that point, like you kind of have to take the chancy because you didn't see ghastly. Well, I, no, I had to get ghastly, ghastly no matter what. I had to have I had to get ghastly no matter what. I my I just I had no spawns on Route Ten like. You know, getting getting that first cool that. I school that. Nice haunter. Getting, getting five uh, rats on to spawn on Route Ten just absolutely killed that that entire area, even with the repel. So, I just was doing everything I could to try and try and force it, and just wasn't wasn't getting it today. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know if you guys noticed. I had to switch. I actually had to swap my one uh, C Joy-Con halfway through. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the the SSN yeah. cutscene, right? Yeah, yeah, the SS cutscene because my uh, the Joy-Con I have been using uh, it needs to be replaced, but it just oh no, was eating going inputs out left and right. Also. Gonna bring out but. the Kadabra here, maybe Kadabra strats. <laughs> actually seeing Kadabra strats here. Joker's been joking about this entire time, but we're actually seeing Kadabra strats possibly. No, it's just. See, oh. that's why. <laughs> oh. The up is a crunch. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, I I gotta give it to my competitors. I mean, I, they're 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 definitely getting much better runs than I had, and I just overall was frustrated. Like I was debating on DNFing uh, in uh, in the middle of Rock Tunnel there. So when I was waiting for Rhyhorn and yeah. And just not right. seeing it even after waiting in the in the final this, room for a good match. This is the time. second EV death for Spider. This has not been good. <laughs> Cheap is caught up because of these deaths. Yeah, noting that they're on the same fight now. Uh, looks like Arbox is still up for Sheep, so just a little bit behind the fight. Uh, but Sheep is a catch up now. Um, getting double target, but 
One, Power of Love expels the poison. Two, remember that Sheep's Eevee is plus special defense with a special defense characteristic. So it's very likely that uh, all of those played into not getting KO'd by uh, Sludge Bomb in the double target. Yeah, the one thing that I can say that was probably good about your run, Trubs, was the early game. You had a very solid amount early of catches game was coming really good. out. Yeah, yeah you solid. had a very solid amount of catches coming out of Forest. I think like 10 by Brock, if I recall correctly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, getting uh, having both bugs fully evolved, that uh, that huge or, or that large rat definitely uh, definitely helped getting the uh, um, you know that that early game going. And at one point, I was actually ahead of PB pace. Granted, I was you know 10 catches behind my PB. So. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it was it was definitely a definitely a false you know ahead there, but uh, you know I, it just it's just what the game threw my way today, and it just you know route route six only getting Jigglypuff on there, only getting you know mm -hmm. three you know basically two catches before the Rocket Grunt fight on uh, on route ten. It just wasn't enough for me to be able to to feasibly keep going. You know, not to mention the amount of breakouts that I had and, and bad first throws and just. You should have was not so, was not the greatest run. So now that I thought about it, you should have continued for the Snorlax to get a shiny Snorlax. Yeah, what if second get my second one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I already have one. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I got a second one. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, I don't think anybody faults you for DNFing. Like you, you did the absolute best that you could have coming out of Hideout uh, or coming out of Rock Tunnel and. The game just kind of just said no to your face, yeah. so it was a really good effort. It's pretty um, similar to Waves Run yesterday, to be honest. And it also, my run during my race as well. Yeah, <laughs> I had flashbacks. It's like, oh, shiny Snorlax! Oh my god! Oh I yeah, shiny Snorlax. Yeah, shiny Snorlax, not shiny. Okay, so can can Spider run with 57 left on the clock? I can't. I'm always 56. 56, yep, there's for the 56 spider. there. Uh, but both our runners now coming up on the final caching segment of the run. You have the, the trifecta of Pokemon Road or Route 17. You have Route 21, which has that grass patch, as well as getting a star slash tentacle along the water route, and then whatever you end up finding in Mansion. Uh, looks like these runners, um, looking at the cache tracker, Spider could take everything on Route 30 or Route 17. Uh, Sheep does not need Duck because he already caught one on Route 6, I believe. Uh, okay, so, strategy, this is optimal, is Sheep has 52 plan, should ditch Nine Tails and then catch Rapidash. Doesn't use Candy. Interesting. Technically optimal. Technically yeah. optimal, yeah. Uh, Spider seeing a duck? Glowing duck. Glowing duck. Is that, is take... that a fish? I believe it is a fish, actually. Could be... <laughs> Mark that one. Or, uh... Mark that one off the list. Oh, Jeff. the timing. <laughs> Mention, it's, is it a fish? Matt drops. <laughs> yeah, GG's to Matt on this, uh, yeah, GGs on this tournament. Yeah, GG's on this tournament. Um, really, really sad look. The best didn't end ever. how he wanted it to, I bet, but still... <laughs> Tried to persevere through until... That death. Exactly. Pony, okay. Uh, instant pony, pony and sheep, also instant. Uh, Pidgey for sheep as well. I forgot if the sheep already had caught a Pidgey. Is gonna mark the Pidgey first. Um, troll jump there. Hey, where's my Twitch point. link on the commentators? Uh, command. What the hell? <laughs> I don't even know what your Twitch is. I'm it's affiliate, man. Nice. Come on. <laughs> well, you can take that up with Jordan. Twitch.tv slash NixPixels streams more than me, probably. <laughs> I stream once a quarter. That's about the same as me, so... <laughs> Dion's the only one that actually streams, so just check out Dion. No, I'm not, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna beef with Jordan, he already has enough in his hands. It's all good. On my streams, you'll just see, uh, gotcha polls. This is, not, this is not against, against an impact stream, people. This is a Pokemon Let's Go tournament, if you had I mean, forgotten. <laughs> don't worry, I wasn't talking about Genshin, I was talking about Star Rail. So. Oh it's a turn-based game, like 
Okay, anyway. Aww, okay, it's for pony. Pony, toss, pony toss, I know. Know. sheep. Both of them are going to be getting their pony here. We'll probably see an instant menu. That was a throw. Ooh, that was um, a throw, yeah. Yeah, pony, unfortunately, like trolling a little bit, doing. Nice cycle. Hops. Just throw. Can you stop hopping, please. Just throw. Um, okay. At this point, like. <laughs> I feel like I would be this close to the nap in the pony. <laughs> I would have I thrown on a couple. Grab the pony by the neck, stop moving. Alright, but you'll see sheep here. Uh, going to put that pony in this party immediately if it wasn't already. And then evolving Candy. it, dumping the right horn. Uh, spider going to be doing the same thing, just to get that rapid ash movement speed boost to get through the rest of the game just a little bit faster than the right horn can. What's the frame advantage, Dynam? Uh, I don't have direct stats. All I know is that Rapid Ash moves at like 26 pixels per frame, give or take. 27. Uh, yeah, I think Rhyhorn's sig significantly slower than that. So it is definitely worth it to evolve the, the pony immediately here for, for movement purposes. I don't know why Sheep went back into the party menu. Uh, Spider just needing Pidgey, Pidgeotto, either or will work here, also Do Duo, uh, assuming that it's not going to be a Do Duo. Uh, Do Duo for Sheep here, very solid. Do Duo. And it really and looks Dodrio. like- Was that a Dodrio back there? Uh, I couldn't tell. Um, Spider doing his party management now, dumping that Rhyhorn, keeping the Cubone in side up. Keeping uh, the side up, yeah. Still need to evolve. Oh, Sheep was the one who got early side art. Okay. Yep. That though duo should not have broke. Oh, it's Pokeball. That's yeah, right. It's Ultra Poke, so it's Ultra gonna be a Poke, little bit yeah. less than Ultra Poke. Ultra Poke, no That should still be like 90%. Like, that should not break out. Yeah. Uh, Spider. There's a Pidgeotto. A bird. Catch it. Uh, spider, just go for it. Spider. Oh, oh there's and a Dodeo. Oh, Pidgey right Pidgey. after that. I wonder if he's going to run from this. No, and... not. Wait. Keep. No, it's gonna go for the Pidgeotto. Unplanned. Pidgeotto's Pidgey. not that bad of a catch. Just hit the. Yeah. Well, I guess. Ultra Great. Yeah. Uh, it's great still pretty likely. still okay. It is an 81.5% chance to get in here and get set. Yeah. That's perfect. If it's above 80, you feel bad when it breaks. Yeah, so Spider really, really only wait, has one more catch. I wanna. Yeah, I wanna talk about this. So Spider unplanned uh, Pidgey once he's on the Pidgeotto, but then the the the, P the glowing Pidgey spawns. So I'm interested in seeing what he's gonna go for here. So the reason well, he already... for that is Spider had a odd catch count um, planned, so now it's down to 50, which means yeah. that Spider only needs one additional catch. Don't do it here. Star. And don't do it spawn at the top. Then, uh, talk to Rapid Ash. Yeah, manipulate that RNG. Gain the silver razzes for any later catches that sheep might need. The only catch that sheep needs at this point is Staryu. Uh, so silver razz will guarantee the catch more often than not. Spider going to grab that Doe Duo, which means that yeah. the only catch that both of these runners need right now is that fabled star. Mm -hmm. Star, then evolutions and gifts. We're pretty much set. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Sheep being the first one to make it out of Pokemon Road is going to head into the... Amazing Sheep Pokemon Road for both. <laughs> it was yeah, really honestly, good. Like... No headaches on either side. Yeah. yeah. Order could have been left to be desired, but like, honestly, like, solid for... Would the duo evolve before Blue Spiders? Um, it will... It depends. Okay, watch this movement. You run straight down. And yes. they won't see you. See, that person was looking straight at Spider and didn't see. Yeah, spider. Little one tile vision from most of these one trainers on Pokemon Road. Uh, spider's signature move of holding straight down. If you line yourself up with the right side of that sign that says, don't throw the game, throw footballs instead, you can just hold straight down. Um, sheep, sheep did get Pidgey. Yeah, Sheep did get Pidgey. So, doesn't yeah. mean coffee. Yeah, as long as Sheep Unplanned can, already manages his menu or party match as well. Uh, Pidgey should get enough XP to level into Pidgeotto, followed by Pidgeot, uh, by the time that he is done with the super mission. Uh, Spider was the one that did not get Pidgey, caught a Pidgeotto instead, opting for that single evolution into Pidgeot. Don't catch Pidgey, catch Pidgeotto instead. Honestly worked out for the better for Spider's background. 
No. Yeah. No need for Tang Tangela. No need for Magmar. No need for Tentacool. No need for Ditto. No need for a Victory Bell. He's going to get that star and move on. He's going to be paying very close attention to the possible stats. Of <laughs> nice Tangela. I, Tangela I be, Jolie. I might be saying something dumb here, but I think that this means that neither of these runners have to catch anything in Mansion. Is that, that is correct? correct. Yeah. Nice. Correct. The only no catch thing mention. he catches the star. Um, nice stars for cheap right now. Very good. Mansion is cursed. Stars, mod check. Mansion's not cursed. Mansion's not cursed. The only, the only downside to having to catch in stars. Oh, okay. This is bad. Where are the stars, dude? Oh gosh. Mod check. Um, oh god. If she has the repel, he can opt to repel Tentacle Lisa Tentacle, but no star, brother. Repe definitely has yeah, repel. Here, here it is. Um, going to wait. Okay, does have a super lure, so going to repel, super lure, um, as his last lure, uh, final gambit to get a tentacle star. Tentacle and spider side too. Oh uh, my god, gosh, dude! More tentacle, more magic carp. Okay, uh, oh my god, finally. they both get oh, star. Okay. They, they both get it at the same time. That's so unfair. Uh, on shoot side, we have 1055, 1042, 1042, 1042. So both below average. Um, thankfully, both getting a star at the same time. Both getting the excellence. You could say that these are like sheep is just like one shake ahead of spider at this point. Um, <laughs> You're routed with sheep. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Uh, worth noting that even though these runners are essentially at the same point, um, Cheap is getting that Haunter evolved now, uh, Spider is currently one patch up, but needs to move a little bit further down the route. Than, what runner has to go to Spider Evolutions? Um, I think it's Sheep, isn't it? Because he has a Pidgey. Uh, let's see, so Sheep needs Dodrio, Pidgeo, then Pidgeot. And then yeah, Spider needs really Pidgeot, Golduck, and Dodrio. Oh, it's the um, same amount. Yeah, so same amount of evolutions. So I would Wait, say does Sheep that, still need Cubone? Uh, sheep does still need Cubone, so that's four, four. on Sheep's side. Four, four on Sheep's side. Oh, I miss Cubone. Okay, yeah, and the Ghastly there. Yeah. Nice 1% okay, using... ditto on the first four <laughs> mansion for Sheep. Sheep just going to barrel straight okay, Let's through. see. What's the star you stats? Uh, very, slow it, very super slow. Attack. Super slow. <laughs> yeah, very special slow. Attack's good. Special attack is good. Uh, we'll be paying attention to Spider's speed stat. Uh, there it's are a couple Pidgeota, thresholds that Pidgeot. need to hit. Yeah, Pidgeot being the one that I'm most concerned about, uh, needing 128 speed to beat that out. Uh, Rapidash, you need to beat it out at one, either 117 or 118, and then Rapidash or. Nine tails beats out at one fourteen. I don't. Maybe the the nine tails, not the rapidash. For yeah, sure. absolutely not the rapidash. Um, could outspeed the nine tails. Uh, as long as let's see sheep. The sheep has speed. kind of the inverse. Good speed. Uh, pretty average special attack. Looks like. Okay, let's see what uh the speed is. One thirteen. That ties nine tails. Oh god. <laughs> um That is got to be <laughs> That's got to be like 0 to 1 ID speed. That's, um it's so <laughs> bad. Everybody wave high and bye to Magmar. Um, also say bye to Spider's speed. Uh we'll be paying exceptionally close attention to Spider's speed stat. Um as it levels up. Uh, Spider might need to do some a little bit of extra shopping in in Saffron or whatnot, depending on- Might want a guard spec. <laughs> so yeah, you definitely might attack. want a guard spec. Rival 5's shot as you're heading towards Victory Road, does indeed have uh, sand attack. <laughs> yeah, but... might want to buy a guard spec. We'll see if we'll see if Spider is able to adapt to that. But currently, both are on Ted. Uh, Ted is known to troll very, very hard. Um, doesn't get paralysis on Spider's side. Uh, 
willing to take the bed though more than likely to sure not outspeed anything. Sheep taking this uh, relatively safe approach and using Dirt Duo as a sacrifice Pokemon to bait Electrode into attacking it. We'll probably also end up taking the bed heal uh, to compensate for that. I'm gonna stand up Pidgey here and get that a little bit extra XP. Uh, is it better to revive Dirt Duo here or is it better to bed heal? Uh, it depends. Uh, Sheep's speed should be good enough to outspeed Rapidash at this point. It's definitely, because it was like plus 90. Yeah, so it could 10% to... ditto. Nice, nice. 10% ditto. Could opt to revive on the same menu that Sheep escape rips out of Mansion. That is a viable strategy. Um, Bed heal, obviously, the same approach. Uh, getting I killed by Eradicate here. Could Neither not. of our runners need any more spawns. Uh, also, hello, Magmar. Goodbye, Magmar. Again. And cursed. Nice chancy. Uh, bonjour. Appropriate floor for bonjour, by the way. Uh, Spider is taking that bed heal, getting that Starmie back up to full HP, uh, considering that it will speed tight. Another Magmar. Cool. And then go both EV runners going to pick up this, I believe it's a max elixir here. Yeah. Uh, Pikachu picks up an Aether much earlier on to manage their bag more optimally, while Eevee already buys an extra item and so picks up an extra uh, PP restoring item here. Yesterday I somehow made that scientist cycle. <laughs> yeah, it, you really need like perfect movement to make it, and even then you have to pass it like along the right side in order to make the first scientist cycle, but if you get an encounter, you can... Uh, trainers reset their cycles when they you either fight another trainer, or you enter uh, enter a catch scene with a Pokémon. So, also what the Loki's attack there. Spider game to quiz time here. Um, all you have to do is simply input the correct answers, Definitely, absolutely you, not. <laughs> do you uh, go up or down on the fourth question? I I go up these days just because of the way that I end up mashing through these. Because I typically mash B to progress the text. Uh, Spider picking false for the for, for the fourth question. Both the second and third options are correct. For the fourth question and then the fifth question you can pick any, and you will make it through just fine. I go up because I feel like more people go down. So I want variety. <laughs> yeah, so I like I hold down uh the trigger button to progress text, mash with B on this, and then I maneuver my thumb up to hit the stick and then uh hit the bumper with my other finger to select on this quiz. Oh no, sheep uh getting a dropped input here and fighting uh, fighting a bird. We're gonna find out what this has. Yeah, this one... Two Pokémon. I thought these trainers only had one Pokémon. Oh, it's a Growl. This is... Yeah, probably gonna see, like, Growl of Bullpix here, but that's... Uh, if it was one Pokémon, it would have been, like, okay. Two Pokémon is just, like, kicking you while you're down. That's really unfortunate on Sheep's side that you got a dropped input or missed input. Oh, Rapidash! Uh, um, should still go down a skill, kill? honestly. Uh, Rapidash okay. does not have as high defenses as Ninetales does. I believe Ninetales has significantly higher special defense, which is why you need to set up an X-Special on Blaine. Uh, making it through just fine. Um, thankfully, can just mash through this last question, but really unfortunate drops in the from Sheep there. I take those so slow. Like, I lose time because I... Mm -hmm. take them super slow. <laughs> Same, and yet I still manage to get drops inputs in. <laughs> <laughs> and fight Magmar. Uh, Spider going to speed type is rapid. Oh my gosh, that was so slow. Uh, lost the speed type, gets Fire Blast down to 7 HP. Uh, would have still lived if it burned due to uh, Ninetales being the final Pokemon, and status elements do not inflict their damage if, uh, if you finish out the fight immediately after that. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, exceptionally scary. Made it through. A -okay. Was that perfect? Was that perfect lane for sheep? Uh, I don't think I, I saw. I believe that was yeah. I believe that was flamethrower open. Yeah. Uh, flamethrower open didn't get burned by flamethrower thankfully. Um, so sheep going to make it through just fine as well. Spider. It would have been. Needs... Go ahead. 
It would have been fine if she got burned. Just status lag. But exactly. She keeps faster, so. Yeah, Pidgey Which, is going to level up into Pidgeotto here. Post fight, Spider does not need to heal until after Surge. Thankfully, uh, nothing Surge has has no, priority. No. I'm double checking this. Right, you, right, you has quick attack. Right, you has quick attack. I'm going to. I don't know how much it does. No, no, I, I know for because I was in this situation once. That's why Right, you has. I don't yep, know how that much is it does. quick attack from Right, you. I'm going to do run a quick damage calc. Okay, um, healing. Yep. Okay, healing. Okay, good. Yep. Heals. Okay. Don't need to run the damage calc. Um, I think it was kill range. <laughs> like I think seven is like around yeah, the kill it, range. That is a level twenty six Raichu Brave Nature. Um, so even even though it is like half our level at this point, more or less. Still do uh, do the damage count. What is it? Uh, I will. I'll do that in a second. Go ahead and uh, fill in for me while I do that. Yeah. All right. Wait. Sorry. Hey, hey. Um, You're just fine. came back. I had something to take care of. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, how are the Sarmis looking? Um, spiders is super slow. Might need, to, might want to buy a guard spec for, for rival five. Okay. It's probably slower than the Pidgeot. Sheep's super speedy, but uh, it's probably good enough. It might be good enough special attack. I don't know if I'll have the Dragonite range. It might be like 15, 16. Gotcha. Well, unfortunate. Spider doing the correct surge movement by going to the left and cutting the corners. That's the fastest way. A oh, sheep hit an optional um, in this gym. Miss it, or eat an input or something. Um, fought a trainer with two pokes. Um, spider lost the speed tie and almost died. Lived on seven, had to heal because we think this Raichu can kill with quick attack. Um, and uh, yeah, Tezra are fine. Uh, all right, as Spider enters the search fight, I have the calc ready. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. Um, Raichu quick attack against level 46 Starmie with maximum defense IVs. Uh, at 7 HP, quick attack is a 13 and 16 to kill. Okay. Uh, so very good decision from Spider to uh, to heal the Starmie um, a little bit early. Is the sheep candy? Yeah, uh, looks like Sheep really either, I forget if Sheep took the bed heal or not, candying a Pokemon does revive it and uh, allow it to evolve. Uh, Sheep probably understanding that uh, Dodrio is, or Dodrio was not going to evolve before. Uh, I guess before just Sol didn't want to risk, should yeah. just risk. Fire Blast, come on, the content. No. Fire Blast don't miss. Not. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Never. Yeah, so she's probably going to pick up an extra candy and salt to, to compensate for that. Uh, but in return, does guarantee that uh, Executor will go down to Drill Pack. Did, did she pick up Banshee candy? Because there was one left, I thought. So then you just get two from... You uh, get the I second one from, like, regular. close attention, uh, but she does... Assuming worst case scenario, Sheep does have that option to pick up the 10F candy and self along with the Lapras candy. Uh, assuming you need an extra. Okay, let's see if Sheep does the correct movement here. Yes. Yep. Some people like oh. going to the right, some people like going to the left. Um, you can skirt around the diagonal on the left trainer, whereas you cannot to the right. Uh, I always end up going to the left because of that. Uh, the left is faster. I do pick okay. top can first, followed by bottom can, though. I do the opposite. But that's because everyone did top can, so I was like, I'm gonna be different and do bottom can first. I just feel like it's easier to get it out of the way, because well, the, like, the hitboxes can... on interacting with those cans is so large, too. Like, you can be running past the can and still interact <laughs> with it. Well, that's, that's why I do it. That's another reason why I do it, because you can just run straight to Surge and just hit the can. I mean, it doesn't matter. If anything, it saves like 0 0.01 seconds or something. <laughs> you're still hitting both of them, so just hit them in whatever order you need to. Exactly, exactly. This is Erica's gym. I don't think anyone in the tournament has had one of these optionals. 
Yeah, it's pretty hard to hit them unless you're kind of AFKing. Um, unless you've like never seen this done before. You like if you see as long as you've seen it once, like <laughs> like if you have the corners, insane. you're already being super safe, mm -hmm. right? And you can do without hugging the corners. Yeah, because. I mean, I've never done this before, but I assume that the trainers will never be able to block the paths. So to to aggro them, you'd have to like really extend past the path range in order to to hit them. I have never tried to. So... Neither have I, and I don't think I ever will. I mean, I <laughs> probably have a final I can try. <laughs> uh, Actually, that's doing... false. Keep doing the menu here, uh, noticing that you can, that, you, you, can you can fight all of them whenever you decide to run all trainers. 45 is fine, right? No. Yeah, 45 is totally fine. Um, you'll get uh, two levels before um, before you finish off the trainer, and then you double candy afterwards to secure the 49. Yeah, I usually do two too. I only do three if I'm. Um, Gonna, if I can get more speed to outspeed and stuff for playing. Yeah. In Spider's case, absolutely 3 plus 1 is the play. And 3 yeah. plus 1 barely even tied the, the Nine Tails in terms of speed. So, Spider exiting Erica's gym is going to get that Pidgeotto evolved into Pidgeot, which puts them at 47 caches. Keep entering Erica's gym with 47 catches, so I would put Spider approximately a minute 15 ahead of Sheep at this point, considering Sheep still needs to do the Erica fight. Um, yeah. But again, things can change at the drop of a hat, uh, considering the slew of trainers and fights that we need to go through all the way through Victory Road. Standard combo of Archer 2, Caden, Koga, Samuel, depending, Naomi, depending, and then uh, good old Caroline. Good old Caroline. The great equalizer. Hey, we're going to the fun fight. We are going to the fun fight. Um, looks like Spider has not evolved Doduo yet, so opting to keep Rapidash in slot 2. Likely going to see a fire blast from Spider's side. Let's whereas, go, content! Whereas uh, we saw that Sheep did evolve the uh, the Dodo. The with Dodo, the yeah. To guarantee him. So could if this a, fire blast fails. Could see a lead change right here. <laughs> yeah, so Executor being the, the one and only Pokemon in this game that Starmie cannot deal with on its own due to its uh, poor type coverage against Grass Psychic needs either Rapidash, Do Dodrio, or Magmar to take it out. Um, if Fire Blast misses, Executor can do a couple of things. It can either set up Light Screen, which then you, in return, you expect Rapidash again to go to plus four and try to hit a second Fire Blast, and then you also have to X special Starmie and hit a Hydro Pump. Um, the other thing that can do is Power Whip. Um, I don't think Spider has enough X specials for that. Uh, Clearly, think... we need to route in. Uh, no, wait, 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 wait. For start. Does right? Only needs two. Normally, right from right now, only needs two X specials, right? Yeah, you I need think Spider one has for, three. One for Scald. Uh, I mean, technically, Spider can just straight up Scald the Charizard. Uh, with good special attack, it's a at plus zero. It's a thirteen and sixteen. If Spider is one hundred and twenty three special attack, wasn't paying too close attention to that. Will be from here on out though. Um, so, really only need one for Giovanni, and then you can do the shock right after that. Uh, we'll see how... Well, two here, obviously, because Rapidash is coming out. We'll see what this menu looks like here as he sets up the X Special on the Rapidash for the Fire Blast. Okay. More than good enough, um, assuming that you simply hit the Fire Blast um, and Easy. move on. Easy. Easy. Never in doubt. Abra, yolo Abra for sheep. Not that she needed it, but yolo Abra was needed. I would have loved to see that the other day, but she, seeing the Abra, doesn't need it. Moves straight on to self. Uh, Spider going to go ahead and guarantee the one shot on the Charizard by using X Special and 
scald, and then go just pump the Charizard. Just for uh, Giovanni. Pump. 128. Uh, special attack. 120. I think catch the speed. I wasn't paying attention. I'm gonna clip that real quick. Looking like 117 speed. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Might want to buy guard spec for rival five. I I think that's what Spider should absolutely do during the, the Saffron shop, and I hope. And they can just one C rival five, right? I have never seen anybody. 1C Rival 5 on Eevee, I know that this is a thing that you can do um, with really good speed because you can outspeed the, the Pidgeot and then the Raichu also. Um, probably wouldn't recommend doing it at this speed unless you like set up super hard. Uh, you'll see the alternate version of this fight for Sheep. I'm going to X Attack the Dodrio, followed by Drill Peck, which guarantees the safe version. Before. Yep. We uh, don't like Fire Blast. Yeah, definitely. Okay, like Archer turn one. Also guaranteeing it here, because Dodo is a range. Spider going up against Archer two plus Grunt. Uh, we'll Let's see, see if happens. we get the the Fable three turn fight. Three turn fight requires boom no protect, so Electro will self destruct, and no protect from Muck means that Muck will go down to a Psychic. And then followed up by Eradicate and Focus Energy. Leash. Okay, not bad. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all. All right, Cubone. So if Cubone goes for Focus Energy once, it will not go for it again. Uh, so we'll either see Headbutt or Bone Rang coming out from Cubone. Uh, has a chance to do either because the Gold Bat is out. Um, if Weezing comes out, it's very likely to. Wait, didn't it Bone so much on lag. turn one? <laughs> on that move. All right, and we're gonna see headbutt. Okay, headbutt. So at best, this fight. will be a likely four turn fight, unless I don't know if Cubone Boomerang can crit down Radicate at this range. Likely not. Uh, no, I wouldn't bank on it. I think there's a possibility, but that's not happening uh, because both would have to. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can Spider Mason survive? Protect. And Spider should see... survive another. Oh. Focus energy from Cubone now. Never focus mind. energy from Cubone. Yeah, I was gonna say, didn't Rome Ring happen turn one? Uh, I thought I saw focus energy. I must have. Oh, okay, Don't... barely lose. Oh, Easy. wait, wasn't it like Bone Ring? Okay, it she not, it didn't hit he... anything? Yeah, it was Bone Ring yeah, and that's, fail. That's correct. Yeah, Bone Ring fail. Yeah. Let's see what this turn one is. So, Spider getting a very solid four turn fight. Uh, Was she not at full HP? Come yeah, she was not at full. She was not at full. Okay, um, so she definitely needs to heal here. I don't think I've seen she pick up a Hyper Potion yet, which means that uh, I'm really that hoping, we're really hoping that we see Electro using Explosion Self-Destruct here. Uh, Thunderbolt again. Paralyzed! Oh no, with the Paralyzed. Okay, thankfully Cubone takes it out, but being put in a situation where you are low health and paralyzed... Uh, it's not is good. This is Absolutely really not good. Not good. Um, this is why all you can, people pick up yeah, the All you can do potion. is Super Potion and pray that uh, Golbat hits the Cubone on a turn. Wait, we, you, yeah, we don't have Hypers by this point in the game, right? Right. Well, like, the only way that you would have a Hyper really Potion purchased. is um, if you... Is this dead to Crunch? This is dead to crunch. This um, is dead to crunch. But oh, go, not punished. Ghost or Sucker punish. Punch. <laughs> not uh, punished. Is this dead to Sucker Punch? It should not be dead to Sucker no, Punch. No. At, at sucker minimal punch. defense, a maximum roll should deal 38 damage. Uh, goes for the Sucker Punch. attacking Cubo. Anyway. Okay. And this fight is like salvaged, kind of. Yeah, not punished. Yeah, still has to eat a Sucker Punch from the Radicate, possibly. Weezing could also protect here. Um, but Cheap does have an extra super potion to, to round out this fight, so we should see him coming out okay. So much lag on that. Nice oh wheezing protect. God, and protect. 
At least the right. case dead. At least the right case down. dead. Thanks, Cubone. Cubone yeah. actually does a little bit of a little bit of health here. Takes out the Raticate, and we seeing use and protect here means that it cannot it? use protect. Is this Raticate. six or seven turns? Uh, it's too many turns. I'm seeing so much lag on these doubles. <laughs> it's uh, driving me insane. Okay, lucky for Spider, Ravdash will level up not in the battle. <laughs> yeah, it also looks like based off of uh, both Rapidash and Starmie being at relatively full HP that uh, Rapidash's stomp did in fact flinch the Weezing, so no need for a heal. Uh, no need for a heal there as Spider enters the, the second Giovanni fight. E right. Easy Giovanni fight. Exactly. So with that... With Sheep having that very poor Archer, that just even further widens the gap uh, already. Sheep already being a catch behind, uh, already being a fight behind, already being a cutscene behind, uh, means that it's probably, give or take, like... The gaps widen to about like a minute 45 to two minutes at this point between the two. That, which is enough. And I want to point out that catch behind is an evolution, so that's even more time left. Give or take 30 seconds. You all know the copy cost by now. Yeah. But Spider is then with their evolutions. Sheep going to. Um, well, Spider still has Golda. Golda. Well, you know. Psychor evolved. So that was just level up. Don't mind me. Yeah, that was level up. We'll see what happens. I think. Well, we'll see what. If. Spider buys guard spec or not. Um, yeah, if they don't, this uh, this next rival five fight is gonna get really scary, and could possibly give Sheep a chance to catch up if he decides to basically go big on the on the risky plays in the end game. I think Sheep might have to go for the risky plays. Yeah, at this point, if you're this far behind, like upwards of over 90 seconds, you you need a way to to get back in the game. Uh, things like when controlling Samuel, hitting the Hydro Pump. Uh, I don't know if Sheep has an X defense. Right, but got poisoned, all right. Yeah, uh, EV players usually, I believe, buy an X defend late, whether it's in Vermilion or in in Saffron to deal with Giovanni 3. Pika runners need the X defend uh, early because of the way that back management is handled. Uh, so you kind of commit to doing 1C, 1C or 2C Giovanni uh, as the 8th gym very early on in Pika, whereas EV you kind of decide on right at this point in the game, essentially. So we'll see what... Getting Lapras first. <laughs> I do on, get the man. candy first list as well. No, you're Maybe just skipping the candy? Nope. It's better to get the candy first. Now you're just being a hater, man. Come on. Yeah, Sheep will nah. definitely have to pick up the Lapras candy here. Uh, we'll see if he needed to pick up the 10F candy as well. D2 candy and Doduo. I don't think so, because I think Sheep got Mansion candy. Because I'm pretty sure when I saw Sheep use the candy, there was still one left. Gotcha. Like, I could be wrong, but I thought that was yeah. the case. Well, if he did, then he'll have two candies by the end of this section. To, to use to bring Starmie up from 47 to the 49 that you'll need for the rest of the game with natural level ups. Uh, Spider about to pick up the Gift Porygon here, um, rounding out his cash route to 50. 50, out of 50 catches, baby! Not running kicked by Koga today. Uh, she taking a critical hit from Slash, I believe. Slash or Fake Out um, from the Persian? Fake Out. Going to be a little bit lower HP going to the this, this of fight, fight, so I'll have to take note of that, making sure that if special defense drops happen, we'll adjust for that accordingly. Going to pay See. really close attention to Spider Shop here. Yep. Looking to Living possibly hypers. skip full heals. Living max repels. Going to buy X special defense. This denotes that he's leaving. Um, 1C E4 open as a as an option. Gonna buy full heals, and we're gonna pay close attention to see if a guard spec or an X defend is picked no up. Guard no guard spec. No guard spec. No X defend. Okay. Yeah, no. Um, None of that. So probably 
So you still have one more, uh, one more opportunity to pick up items before heading into Rival Five, and that is after uh, the eighth gym, after Giovanni Three. Spider can check his speed. Um, if he does see that his speed does not meet that meet that uh, speed threshold, can opt to just quickly run to the shop in the in Viridian and pick up a guard spec uh, for that fight. Uh, so we'll see what he ends up doing when that time comes. But currently, uh, denoting 2C Giovanni and then going to the rival five fight with a possible side of one. Let's go, sheep. Four. Correct. <laughs> she getting the candy first, followed by the last. The order of factors does not affect the product, okay? You can actually talk to the Lapras gift person behind him. You can just like go behind his uh, the seat and talk to him from behind and pick up the Lapras that way. What was that? Okay, that's because Shit Spider waited for Race Trainer. Perfect teleporters from Spider. Those are all perfect. Dang, look at that movement. We'll see if this night after Sabrina's fight is perfect. Please clap. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. Uh, we did, did hear that. Hear that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sheep also picking up to get Porygon 50 out of 50 as well on his side. Uh, Spider goes into this fight. Uh, from here on out, uh, ever since Catching Stormy, the routes between Pikachu and Eevee converge. Do not have any starter anymore. Uh, we'll see X Special Attack times two from Spider, followed by a X Speed. Reflect turn one is interesting. You psychic, psychic, that. psychic. Uh, light screen, light screen. Turn two. Uh, this does mean that Spider is likely going to have to stall an extra turn. We're going to get hit yeah. by Psychic here. Probably going to. Do a combination of two skulls as well as one heal in order to uh, make sure that light screen wears out by the time that the Alakazam does come out. Special uh, defense that doesn't, from from psychic. doesn't matter. Should be totally fine here. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Nah, doesn't matter at all. Yeah, gets the burn on Mr. Mime, slow at this point. <laughs> uh, could have been a factor if you have very low special attack. Um, the burn can help you push through that 50% threshold for the first skull. Spider doesn't need that. It's got all the special attack in the world and hardly any speed to speak for it. But an X speed will allow you to just outspeed Alakazam nonetheless. Hope oh, missed the first. The Thunderbolt. Oof. Oh, okay. Teleport is not going as good as for she. Yeah, Thunderbolt being necessary, take out a couple slow bros uh, along the way. There's only been All right. two possible week three runners so far this tournament that have not taught Thunderbolt at this point in the game, but simply just hit Hydro Pump instead. Sheesh. It was me. I did it once. J Tails did it once, and then I don't know if anyone else has done it. I think somebody from yesterday did that too. Either way, uh, Spider Dose, Sabrina, Sheep about to enter and wait for this spinner to look up. Uh, each of these trainers does look in just two directions. The one that Sheep just passed will only ever look left and up. So oh, was it paying attention? Was that perfect? Did Spider hit that perfect? Uh, let's just say that they did. <laughs> Spider now doing like the last like huge menu, going to drop off all of their Pokemon. We're going to see speed and special attack on this level up right here. 122. No way. 122. Yeah, even with the friendship boost, that is rough territory for for Rival 5 Pidgeot. I don't know if this will... Will this outspeed Lorelai's Jinx? <laughs> Checking. I think you need 50. 129 to guarantee outspeeding. Or maybe um, it has 129 speed. So I think I saw. I feel like Spider's X items go X special attacks, X special defense. Uh, we'll see on this menu. Normally, late teeth. Late teeth. 
almost as good as Omega Early Teeth and Alpha Sapphire. What's the difference between Omega? What's the difference between Early Teeth and Omega Early Teeth? Well, you see, you only do Omega Early Teeth if your catch route is so bad that you need to go to Route 15 to catch a Venonat to evolve into a Venomoth. That so way did you, you go like? You go pick up the teeth, drop it off at the warden, and then head on over to Route 15 for your final catch. But that's before Koga, right? That is before Koga. I feel like and that's not Omega Early Teeth. teeth. It's, it's Omega Early Teeth because you get teeth early, and then you also drop it off early. But Actually, some people do early teeth. So... So are you just getting strength early? Or pushy push early? Yep. The teeth is an Omega early. Just roll with it, okay? Spider being on Caden oh. right now. <laughs> uh, gets Toxic turn 1, is gonna have to heal that poison immediately. Uh, I... Okay, didn't get punished. Yeah. I, I swear that... So Spider might have swapped antidotes to, and no, I do no also antidotes. recall Spider uh, might have spider... heals as well. But I guess yes. using the Peter Crunchies is totally fine there. If, if oh, Mass is a bag. Beedrill uh, just being a troll as usual almost always goes for protect here. But see, I thought I kind of thought you meant this wouldn't make sense, but this wouldn't make sense in this set context because there's so many Pokemon to catch. But like Omega early teeth, I thought you, thought you meant like. You get the gold teeth, then s strength, and then C skim. And then. And then oh, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. no, no, no. Not yeah. that early. Not yeah, that not that early. early. <laughs> so, like, there's no way that that, that would be a thing. It, it is not. It absolutely is not. Uh, okay. Looking at Sheep's stats at 49, I did see 129 special attack, 136 speed. Okay, uh, so... That, I guarantee Scald and Venomoth, uh, 15 and 16 on the losing, if I recall correctly. Well, so I noticed Sheep didn't buy special defense. Mm. So, full safety, so I feel like as long as Spider doesn't throw. Yeah, at this point, Spider's race to lose now. Because... Uh, He's not going to be catching up by any riskier strats because he's just going for the safety. So, as long as. Well, we need to see if Spider buys this guard spec. <laughs> yeah, that. I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous for that. <laughs> like, uh, Spider's aware, right? I'm, I'm confident Spider's aware. Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably so, just waiting until. So my my logic is double protect. Gosh, that's so troll. Hello. Okay, oh my god. Fritz, with all that. Uh, protect has a so the first time you use protect, uh, it fully blocks the next move that's used. 100% chance. Um, yep. If you use it in consecutive uh, turns, the chance of it succeeding is lower and lower. Uh, I think it's okay. it goes from 100% to one third in this generation. I see. Yeah, I don't know the stats myself, but I, I trust you on that. <laughs> that was a bad Koga. I can look it up. Yeah. Bad Koga, Sheep just finishing Kaden as soon as Spider just finishes Koga. So I put them maybe 90 seconds. Between yeah, in Gen 7, more. it's uh, one third after each use. Yeah, and then de decays exponentially based off of that. Did Sheep do... I feel Shape is doing late T, right? Uh, I feel like, based off of the time exiting Sabrina, I feel like that's true. So, Spider getting teeth now. Sheep will be getting teeth after this as well. Grabbing the the sandy gold teeth, dropping it off immediately. Let's we'll see if this guard spec comes. I, I think it's, it's as long as Spider. Does it get tr either gets the guard check or does it get trolled by sand attack? I think. Yeah, assuming that Spider does know that he's likely to not outspeed, probably just going to opt to finish Yo first, check his speed on the level up. If it doesn't meet that threshold, go go by go by guard spec. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. 
like these races are close, but just because of safety strats and stuff, um, there's not yeah. really much of a way that Spider can or that Sheep can kind of come back. The it's right now Spider no Line. There's no reason for Spider to go risky on E4 in this position either. So like the, the only way he can make up time now is if Spider's Rapidash lives and Sheep's dies. Um, and and it gets one way or another victory road happens yeah caroline caroline yeah, so noting that spider fades out on the fly at 238.50 on screen uh we'll remember that and compare that to sheep's fly out of fuchsia as well to denote how far uh between or how far the gap is between them Chat, please remember 3850 because I will forget. I have the memory of the goldfish. Thank you, Kid Rocker. 3850. Yay, Mega Evolutions. Yay, Mega Evolutions. Yo, Mega yeah. Evolutions skip turnarounds. Fun fact. <laughs> Do they really? <gasps> yep. So if you're you probably at max that? happiness. And it mega evolves, and you land a, like a, a super effective hit. It doesn't turn around. It doesn't, doesn't turn, turn around. Yeah. Turn I around. would wager. I would wager the game freak did not program turnarounds for the mega evolution models. You can uh, watch my bootleg Astra to see. So, <laughs> so when are we routing in megas for any percent to skip turnarounds? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm interested. <laughs> turnarounds, uh, as we're. As we mentioned before, uh, your Pokemon physically turns around when you land a super effective move. Uh, use a restorative item on a Pokemon. Uh, Wastes about two seconds for every time. Usually you'll see... Oh, dismount on the Rapidash there. Yeah, usually you'll see turnarounds happen at Agatha for stars, assuming that not many x items or rare candies have been used on them. For the starters, hey. you'll see it around Geo or Archer. Wall. What's the sheep time for the speed out that's coming? Uh, we're about to we're about to check. Um, Phoenix I support the idea start. of Venusaur Mega Alt Main, but Sabrina, bruh. Oh what? Uh, we got some nice call. We're gonna go back into the bag. Do that. Town map. Fly over to Viridian as Spider enters the gym, and the fade out is gonna happen at forty one oh seven. So quick like math. Two. Two minutes, 17 seconds. Yeah, two minutes and 17 seconds from separate these two runners. That is a very, very wide gap to yep. to close. Like, you would See, have to... Go on, sorry, go on. If you're in a sheep situation and you want to have any chance of catching up, you, one, need to have good luck and hit basically every range, hit every risky strat in the book, and you also need to hope that Spider gets bad RNG uh, somewhere along the line. Like, really bad RNG, though. <laughs> yeah, I kind of I mean, think the, the, gonna... Some of the victory road traders can be hella rough, and E4 like, can also be trolled, so... Not you know. too... But with 2C, it can't be that troll. Like, Caroline's no, the no, only I thing, know. and Caroline's not going to waste two whole minutes. Yeah, no, no. Like, Spider has to play... Yeah like extra safe and get horrible luck and sheep has to gun it like pretty much in every fight which yeah it's not gonna happen yeah. and even or like... no guard spec <laughs> <laughs> still doesn't have it yeah we're, we'll be paying very close sheep needs spider day to legs that's so true <laughs> oh god so oh, essentially yeah. the safe strats versus one controller strats for well i guess sheep is locked into yeah sheep is locked so into yeah, so as long as Spider comes out ahead in Victory Road, ahead of Sheep, like, Spider technically should have this unlock. Yeah. But again, we will we will see how how this Rival 5 fight goes, and how Victory Road goes for Spider, and that will determine Sheep's fate in this race. Yeah, Sheep, sheep needs Spider to, I don't know, get a, a DDoS attack. I don't endorse See, like, that, by the way. Don't do it. Like, you know, if one C, if you can only one C in E4, then Sheep would have a chance because of the crit and then the death, and that's a lot of time. <laughs> 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 
One can dream, right? But with all these safe strats that were developed, which are which are good for the runners, but like, yeah. Yeah. So in the next forty seconds, we're going to be paying close attention to two, to two things. One is if Sheep decides to one control Samuel and try hit the pump, and two, we're going to look at Spider's Starmie as it uh, hits level fifty to determine how uh, how fast it is compared to Pidgeot. Crit doesn't even kill Starmie here. The spread thing. Does kill the Rapidash, so this is so two C from Sheep. I'm unsurprised. I think Sheep just wants to finish. Yeah, I can respect if maybe Sheep had already decided that he's going to go for the finish during the Saffron Shop due to not buying X Special Defense, and I can respect that considering the gap that is currently between the two. Yeah, I might have thought the gap was too wide, even too with wide, exactly. doing risky strats. Yeah. Alright, so it should level up on this right on. I'm gonna stare at that speed. The magic number is 128. It does get a friendship boost here. No, 27! That is a speed tie! Speed tie. Okay. That's a speed oh. tie! <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's right, Spider so... gonna do? Yeah, Spider has a very crucial decision to make coming out of Geo 1. Does do they go for <laughs> just win? Just win. I mean, I think with the lead that Spider has, if they if they just want to win, then they don't buy it. But if they want to bring us content and we all want it, <laughs> skip the guard spec. <laughs> okay, so the two decisions or the two choices that I would make in the decision in this in this scenario, one, you can buy the guard spec, play the safe fight. Two, save before Rival 5. Um, <laughs> I don't like saving. I would honestly go for the guard spec. So, okay. So considering the probabilities, say there's a 50-50 shot that Pidgeot targets either. Um, it also needs... has like a 1 in... How many moves well, does Pidgeot have? What's... 1 in okay. 4. Wait, does it have 4 moves? Hold on. Uh, it might not. It might he legitimately waited. not, because there are so, so uh, many champ, trainers in this champ, game that champ, don't have four, champ, four moves on their, champ, on their Pokemon. Champ, Mega Pidgeot has Air Slash, Heat Wave, Quick Attack. Uh, uh, Rival 5 Pidgeot has four moves, but it will not okay. use Roost because it's already at full health. So yeah, it's really so 1 in 3. One in three. Let's see. Okay, let's go! We're bringing the content. Oh god, okay, so uh, there's a oh, 1 in 2 Rapidash chance. lived. Rapidash lived. So losing time. One and two right. chance for the outspeed because it's speed time. One and two chance to. One and three chance to get hit by sand. To get hit sand by sand. Yeah. And then also, also the yeah. accuracy drop. Oh yeah, sheep God. losing time. Yeah, sheep losing lives. time and having a rough G geo. Yeah. Wait, see, isn't, it also, isn't it also one and two to select Starmie for the sand attack? Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's the first one and two that I'm talking about. Yeah, then yeah, the that's... speed time. So all the, of that combined three. is like... So I mean, you also have to lose the speed tie, too. So, yeah. we're gonna look here. Air, Air slash. slash! Okay. Flinch! No! No! Flinch. No! No! <laughs> no shot! Oh my god. Okay, the speed <laughs> tie is... That was not in my calculations. Okay, Wait, it's the speed, it's the speed tie. tie. Oh my god. Oh jeez, Spider, please. Okay. <laughs> There's the content. We got the content. Air Slash is, is, I believe, 30% chance to flinch. Yeah, 30% uh, chance to flinch, 100% chance to crit in the in the champ fight. That was not in our calculations at all. That, uh... Now it's just a normal fight. Sandy, Easy. Sandy with the it air slashes horse. Well, close. Air Give that one to Sandy. Yeah. It would have been even worse if it air slashed horse. Then I think because uh, Rapid Ash has a of dying at uh, at health health more than likely. Yeah. Yeah. And then at that point you're you're kind of screwed. Spileplume knows Petal Dance over Solar Beam in this By the way, did anybody- in. Oh no, uh, Sheep uh, had a, f a fast army, right? So no- No yeah. no, no shenanigans, shenanigans for Sheep. Yeah, no shenanigans. Um, but Spider... Oh, I don't... That's the first question we're gonna ask them when they get into the interview, is uh, 
How about that speed, eh? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one, one, one Dude, out of the three. I bet, I bet their heart rate spiked when they saw the flinch. <laughs> Man. Oh, he's better oh, than air slash, attack. that's fine, unless it flinches. Then you just back in the same situation where you were before. Just have to win the speed tie. Yeah, and but then you're you're like 50 health down and actually can die to another air slash. You got the 2C, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> Spy Spider didn't heal on the 2C that, that time. No, he, he didn't. went for it. No, he just set up again, I think. I thought he healed. I'm pretty sure... I, I don't know. Sorry. It was... It was very, very stressful in the moment. <laughs> and again, so, I'm a fish. So, yeah, it was a heal and a... Uh, and was then Thunderbolt. Okay, okay. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha. Cool. Heal and then Thunderbolt and then... Yeah, I don't think he used the special attack after that. I don't know. There was X speed on the on yeah. the. But after that, or... after that, the fight's just the same. You just yeah, it was just extra heal. Yeah, yeah, just click buttons and kill everything. Well, thank you, Pidgeot. Is scary. Oh, sheep getting through Pidgeot just fine. <laughs> <laughs> surprise, surprise. I mean, <laughs> there's no swag folder in this game. I hate these strength folders are like the worst folders in every, any Pokemon game. They're so bad. But after all that's said and done, very much expecting Spiders to take the two, the safe uh, two controller. Yes. And then we fight here. Kangaskhan does know both Crunch, which can lower your defense, as well as Sucker Punch, which is a priority move if uh, and goes off if you attack Kangaskhan. So you could possibly not even get a turn off if you won one controller, Naomi. Not going for the skips just to talk back to them. Damn. <laughs> No. We'll see. Spider was... can still hit Alexa. <laughs> I we're not wishing that on anybody. I honestly just never put that into my calculations. When 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 you said that was an op that was an option that she can make time, I was like, oh, yeah, it is. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, but even still, Spider finishing up. Naomi, as she is just now entering the Victory Road badge checks. Still got a ways to go um, for she to, to get back into this. I don't even think... It's, it, it's not... Sheep's not gonna do it, but can Sheep even go for the pump if one see? I don't even know. Uh, it'll I don't know be sheeps. a range with, with his special attack. I would, I would put it at about at worst, maybe 13 and 16. So 13, 16 coupled with the 80% the accuracy is like 70%-ish to, to outright KO the Kangaskhan. Yeah, I kind of think Chief just wants to finish. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. There's another fight where you can possibly get trolled on. Um, can Spider, spider can pump? Because this test was actually pretty good. Uh, well, also cons consider the fact that at 140 special attack, didn't quite pay attention to special attack on. Actually, wait, did I take a screenshot? At one at 140 special attack, it's in, it's only a 50% chance to to get yeah. the head now assuming it lands. Didn't get put sleep though, so good fight. Always a good fight when you don't have to go into the bag for an awakening or full heal. Uh, she just now entering the Naomi fight, also electing to 2 see it. Uh, 2 seeing the fight includes X specking and hitting Hydro Pump. Assuming that you missed the pump, you simply either, depending on whether Rapidash is alive or dead, either set up another X special and Scald, or just try and hit the pump again. Uh, Spider electing to not grab the fresh water. Uh, good, good for them. Uh, no need to do it on Eevee. Uh, <laughs> Shoutouts to Lapras strats. Um, you can use Lapras on the Pikachu version to do like the safe Agatha through 
who can't fight. Um, still very much a work in progress being worked on by I have a never heard of people. this. I have it just happened. It, it was a, it, it was just... a discussion overnight between Sandy and myself. Um, Sandy, who brought the idea of Lapras being used in Pika to essentially do the same safe fights that uh, he does on, uh, well, that Eevee has like with Dodrio or or Golduck, etc. Totally fine. Totally fine. fine. Spider trying to give me a heart attack, thing. Spider. <laughs> that wasn't that bad. I overreacted. <laughs> yeah, but. Here's Caroline. Here's Caroline. Set him special. Don't get Caroline. Just simply don't get slept. Simply hit Just the pump simply right after. don't get Caroline. Uh, ice Beam here, is totally fine. If that froze, uh, Spider Scald. will elected to double hit Scald. Uh, yeah, misses just the called. second pump. Misses the pump. Or misses the first pump. Crit, nice crit. Nice, nice. crit. Just, just guaranteeing the overkill on that. Okay, um, what's the speed? What's the special attack? Yeah, we'll have to... Okay. 40, 129. So, okay, so it is faster speed? than Lorelai's Jinx. Uh, so it's he doesn't have to worry about speed thresholds anymore. Uh, what's, what did you say the special attack was? 140. Uh, 140. Okay, so that guarantees plus 4 Thunderbolt on Lapras. And as far as the Jinx goes, it is a 14 and 16 for a plus 4 Skull. Is that better than 80%? It is, right? It is better than 80%. Anything that's 13 or 16 or above is higher than 80%. Um, but might just elect to go to plus 6 to be safe, considering how far ahead Strider is at this point. Um, going back to Lapras for a second, uh, the reason why Pika can't use Dodrio on champ is because Dodrio outright dies to Air Slash in one move. <laughs> in one turn. I found that out in my race yesterday. Yep. <laughs> um, and Pika needs to set up to plus six normally in order to secure a kill against Jolteon with Psychic. Otherwise, you either go to plus four and hope to hit a range or hit a pump. And since Dodrio doesn't fit the bill for living in, on champ, uh, as well as being safe Agatha, you need something a little bit bulkier. Um, and Lapras, oddly enough, fits the bill. Um, it is a water type, so it does fulfill that bird or fish requirement for Agatha, as well as um, is bulky enough to live an air slash from champ as cheap. Easy to skip as well. Easy. Um, See that look cleaner. Well, I mean not cleaner, but less scary. Spider pretty much was up in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not feel yet, but see what sheep's goes like. Let's see sheep's Caroline. Sets up the X spec. That's high speed turn one. I'm gonna click that hydro pump button. Get that accuracy up. Lance the hydro. Lance the hydro. The hydro. No, crit ne no crit needed. Hey, what's the special attack? Uh, you're seeing... you're the one that's the most ahead. 136, yeah, 144. Yeah, so plus 4 on Lorelei would be a 14, 16, and then uh, it's better odds to hydro functions at that point. Uh, but... Wait, what? Wait. Oh, stole oh. it the goal back. So Skull is not guaranteed uh, at plus two on the goal bat. It is at 144 special attack, but Sheep missing that range. Maybe went for the Skull on purpose, maybe misclicked or dropped input to, to Thunderbolt. Or uh, maybe just wasn't aware of the range. <laughs> yeah, but we'll 136 before... special attack, yeah. yeah we'll need what? to heal on Dawson now. How much you said was necessary for the guarantee 144? It's like uh, eight points it's really under high. that. 143 guarantees both Jinx and Lapras plus 4 ranges. Spider exiting Victory Road at uh, 257.22. Um, just still very much very much ahead the lead yep. against Sheep. So assuming that we see Sheep talking to Rapid Dash, no. So you could just use Rapid Dash and Pika if you're just doing safe. So, nice the issue with that is that if you want to go full safe E4, including Agatha, Rapidash is not a viable. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm just saying, just for Lance and Champ. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Lance and Champ definitely use Rapidash. It does require you to summon it in battle, whereas if you, say, like, use Lapras, for example, you can just go straight into the fight because Lapras can live anything that Seedra can dish out. 
Um, yeah. But if you use Rapid Ash as a 2C in, in the Aga fight... Oh! Gengar could... Oh, let's... We're getting some entertainment oh, here. Okay, so this is something that I was thinking about but hadn't... Uh, basically hadn't mentioned until now. Spiders in range to... I'm going to check pace oh, is this... right now. Okay. Oh, PV. That's why we go for the PV. Oh, okay. PV I was like, slash, uh, spider, spider, there's no reason for Spider to go like this, The right? only reason <sighs> is if you're going for PB or a oh, uh, better Lord. plot bracket. Well, we're getting that unsafe E4 that she might need to go out ahead. Damn. So I did notice the spider did buy X special defense. Yes, we did notice that in the in the original shop. So there was the option yeah. for this one controller E4. Uh, so this is so now we're nah, we might actually I feel see like, plus I feel four. like I feel like so this is plus four. It has to be plus four. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah, like yeah, the don't. moment one of these fights goes awry, you automatically switch back to two C because there's <laughs> just no way. Okay, so I think we mentioned Spider exiting Victory Road at two fifty seven. Uh, I'm 22, I think. 22, okay. Uh, 257, 22 plus that much. 1C. Uh, 10 plus 14. 15. Was 57 plus 14 in time? Uh, 11. Wait, guys, chat, chat is saying the spider is not even close to the base. Yeah, so, yeah, I was just okay. like, mapping this out. This is about, like, low 311 at worst um, with this. So taking a look at the, the brackets right now. Well, it needs a 308, so it's still... Just going for the content. How about it? All right. I respect it. Maybe going for the feints. <laughs> Not getting even that, close. Getting that 20 bucks. This is plus four. If you go so for the feint, you, you would plus six. 307. Yeah, 307, 14. I don't know what pace 41, is. sorry. 307, 41. Okay, Chief exiting around the, the three minute mark, so that puts Chief roughly three, two and a half minutes behind Spider at this point. Yeah, if you're in Spider's position, if, you're, if you are intense on one control and the rest of this, you are. It is worth it to save um, before the scary Yeah, part, for sure. Maybe uh, Spider doesn't know how ahead he is? Yeah. Doubt that, though? Some I runners will opt to, to watch the races as they progress just to see where they are at. Some runners will just race their own race and base it off of their own personal times. Uh, but either way, Spider is going into this with just Starmie. Uh, is out of is very cleanly out of faint range. Even if faint were to crit, um, doesn't matter. Should live. One forty. No faint content. Pack. No twenty bucks. More than guarantees the Dragonite. More than guarantees plus four on everything on chain. So we won't be seeing any like sketchy windows today. It'll just be a matter of whether Spider can get through the the dangerous fights or not. <laughs> I don't even know if he knows his tropes. DNF'd. Yeah, they could no. be just running their own race, honestly, and, you know, respect for that. I know, yeah. Bring us the content. Yeah, either way, it takes some here. guts. Uh, Sheep going, based off of that damage, might have plus four? We'll see on, we'll see on Jinx, whether he scalds or hydro pumps. Looks like hump, so it was plus four. Oh, uh, the lovely ooh. kiss. Okay, so Jinx Oh, has... dodge into sleep. Jinx has Blizzard, which is the the highest hitting move that Jinx has. Uh, has that's to dead. Right here. Okay. Okay. Totally Please fine. hit. Okay. Um, this does Did... mean that Sheep will 100% need to heal before Bruno. Yep. Like. Did Spider heal right after Bruno? I did not see. I saw. I was paying too much attention to Sheep, but I yeah. didn't see that Spider healed. Did not save at all. No, um, no, no saving. He did, did heal. No save. Yeah. Yeah, so mul multiple ways this fight can go, depending on whether or not Starmie only one can, way. Whether or not Starmie can break through paralysis or not, but there is more, more. Yeah, one way the fight can go, but multiple ways that the first oh! turn can go. Glare power paralyzed. is oh, interesting. Power love. This is Insane. interesting. Insane. So psychic on the Arbok here 
means that you must set up an X speed on the Weezing soon after. Uh, she does elect to heal, also has the Dodrio as we're noting. Uh, must set up an X speed here. Weezing will get a Thunderbolt off first. Um, and assuming that nothing bad happens, Spider can just go ahead and sweep Easy. right after, which... which T-Bolt, no para. Free. It's much better to have... Oof. In my opinion, it's much better to have better. turn 2 Power of Love, just because you already have that X speed set up and don't have to risk uh, gotcha. consistent paralysis from losing. Gotcha, uh, gotcha. Worst comes to worst, you can set up an X special defense on losing if you cannot live another Thunderbolt and you are familiar with the, the Shadow special defense value and ranges, uh, but not an issue for Spider, thankfully. Be able to get through this fight just fine. Man. Should just get full restore. Don't skip the full restore, folks, unless you're committing to save two C strats on anything. Or if you're already knocked out of the tournament and want to provide his content. <laughs> that too. Alright, 138, 147 on Sheep's uh, Starmie. I don't know if we need to keep. Uh, 138? Keep track. Yeah, so 138 should have the. Yeah, it has the Dragonite range. Yeah, so 138 okay, will stage. level up to. See uh, what Sheep will level up to 53 before he lands on Dragonite, so 140 is the magic number that you want to see in order to guarantee. Spider is going to heal save. his yeah. save. Did Spider use the Elixir? Okay, saving on. On uh, Lance. I didn't see Elixir, I just saw Potion. Uh, did it's Spider use Elixir? elixir. No. no. No, no. I didn't okay, see so... Elixir, I just saw Potion. Potion. So is Spider's gonna have to edit this fight a little bit. Um, assuming he or, reset. Or it reset. <laughs> yeah, too late. You, you can salvage this. Um, it's just one extra turn of setup. It's not. Yeah, yeah. It's one extra turn of setup. Does mean that Cedro will get one extra turn on you. Uh, but the typical one C fight here, set an X special defend. Make sure that you are solidly tanking those dragon pulses, those hyper beams, those hydro pumps. Set up an X speed to outspeed Aerodactyl and Charizard right here. And then set up three X special attacks to go to plus six for Dragonite. Um, we'll see when Spider realizes that they have not elixired. Um, and we'll probably adjust two. to either heal on that turn or, Might heal now. or elixir. Um, Just thinking about it. Side not to. Let's going see. for one more. Going for the pump here. He's gonna hit. Okay. Heal it. Okay. I think realizes. Now. I think realizes here that needs to. Yeah. Maybe so. Okay. The, easy. Okay. You have a free setup to use the max elixir here due to. Perfect. All right. Realize their mistake. Okay. Okay. All planned. Not all planned. All planned. Due to all planned. hyper beam, no crit, and. I'll plan, baby. Spider, that... stop making a sweat, please. If, if, if that hyper beam crit would that have lived? Because it was full. It likely would have lived. Yeah, it would have lived. Yeah, it would have lived. Yeah. Uh, or very if poor one of, if one of the pumps, if one of the, the, I think the last pump before the heal crit, that might have, might have been dicey. Yeah, but a very, know. very, very good catch by Spider. Good recovery, taking advantage of the hyper beam recharge turn on the Seedra to get that max elixir off so that uh, they can progress the fight. Yeah. Uh, Many of it, we're, we're all like operating under, you know, the assumption that that, that might have been a recovery. It was probably all planned. Who knows? <laughs> Maybe. Just it's don't fear the Seedra. <laughs> Simply do not get crit. Uh, Shifia going to go through this just fine. Uh, the, the good thing about 2 seeing Agatha is that if your Starmie has like fairly decent skull thresholds, um, you can set up an X, extra X special attack and basically scald both the Ooh, Gengars ring. and possibly the Golbat, uh, saving turnarounds on, on those mons, saving two seconds each. Uh, going to Max Elixir here. Uh, yeah, Max Elixir during Agatha. Yep. As the typical 2C strat. Um, mm -hmm and it comes out totally fine. Okay, Spider. Don't bring in 2C yep. now. Yeah, pulling out the Pika to, to sacrifice on Pidgeot, understanding that they are very solidly ahead, can afford to take out a Sacrifice Mon to set up an X special attack on Champ. Uh, and this fight is all but guaranteed for Spider at this point. Damn, no full content, just some content. Just some content. I 
feel like between the speed tide, the flinch on from Pidgeot, <laughs> we got some content. We got enough <laughs> content from Spider today. I'm still salty about the chancy, but we have sweat just enough. You'll see the 2C strap from the sheep here. You summon with the second controller on the second turn uh, to ensure that Dodrio lives. Uh, if you set it up on the first turn, there's a chance that so you can just hit Dodrio and then you're screwed on the setup. Spider setting up an X speed, X special attack on the Pidgeot. Bring out the very low level Pikachu here so that Pidgeot will quick attack it and focus it down. Setting up one more X special attack on Starmie before hitting go. There goes Pikachu. Would have been kind of funny if it air slash Skarmy instead, and then Pika just gains like 15 levels during the fight. <laughs> Brother. Um, it didn't happen here. Air slash on Skarmy. No crit, no problem. Damn, the Pika haters in chat fucking <laughs> coming out of the woodwork, enjoying that content. There is the 143 that you want to see on, on Sheep's screen. It guarantees the Dragonite range. No worry there. GG, Spider. Yeah, all Spider has to do is click Psychic a bunch of times and then flip over to Thunderbolt on, uh, on Slowbro. It didn't, didn't Thunderbolt the Pidgeot, so it doesn't have to worry about hitting the wrong move. <laughs> exactly. You will be. Assuming that you have one seed and elixir correctly, you will run out of psychics on the second to last Pokemon on Shannon. Yep, it's looking clean. It's looking like a GG's. Or a spider. The spider are going to be coming out of this with a 311, very solid time. Um, very well played overall. And she's not too far behind. Just finishing up the Lance fight right now. Uh, again, like, to make it to, uh, like, all the way to round three, and, like, having been in lower bracket for a time, is, like, it's been so cool to see, like, so many runners, like, pick up the game. Like, I know Sheep has, like, recently picked up the game, switched over to digital for this. Um, just to give him a little extra, a little extra boost, and in terms of competitiveness, uh, but just seeing all these runners, even even though King Trubs did unfortunately have like the worst run of his life, uh, tried so hard to salvage it, did all the correct plays in order to to try and make that run happen. But you ha really have to appreciate the tenacity of these runners. Um, yeah. Spider finishing <laughs> it out. He's the spider. Uh, entering the Hall of Fame now. Sheep understanding that just, the gap is way too large, uh, but choosing to finish out the run anyway. Just want to say, mm -hmm. people are saying that they're sacking the Pikachu, but the Pikachu is not in the Hall of Fame. Like, what an honor. Who's not in the Hall of Fame? <laughs> <laughs> so you just played yourself, <laughs> Eevee, Eevee, or Pikachu haters. You just played yourself. Look at that Hall of Fame Pikachu. Look at that Hall of Fame yeah. Pikachu. Get it owned, the Eevee. <laughs> Oh, but yes, GG's the spider. Um, finish. Wait. Okay. Yeah, race time. Uh, it's not on screen right now, but race time does clock it in at 3.11.36. 3.11.36. Yeah. Um, cheap setting up on Pidgeot. Gets the plus four with the Pika sack. Um, and then... Uh, should have the ranges to knock it down from there. Uh, looks like Spider will be joining us very shortly. I'm um, going to take a probably break. needs a Sorry. break that people will always need after the yeah, rides. Exactly, <laughs> and then we'll we'll be seeing both them and Chief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chief is this is fun race though. Uh, yeah, this time is going to be pretty close to Chief's round two time as well. Chief's round two time being a. 1338. Looks like uh, the whole Pokemon left is going to be around the mid 314. Lovely stats, by the way. Never start using Hydro Pump accuracy. <laughs> Burned by Misty. <laughs> Optional stick. I am. Chief's Hydro Pump accuracy is true to the actual accuracy. Let's see how the <laughs> stats are going to be out later. Trick T-Cat's keeping track. 
I know round one was like basically the like just that. Pretty much like I think 99 pumps in total, give or take. I think it ended like one of one or one of two. The cheap, uh just gonna click Thunderbolt here. And this is GG's for sheep. Finishing out with a very solid second place time. Unfortunately, second place is not good enough to uh, progress in the tournament. But Sheep has come a very long way since he first started this game at the beginning of the tournament. So much GG's to Sheep. GGs. We get all these people with experience now for Let's Go, and then next year's tournament, it's going to be like even tougher. Yeah, can you imagine next next year's tournament? Like, consider all the people that have joined this year's tournament and have put up like really, really solid showings, really solid PBs, solid tournament times. Just think of like all of the new, like fresh blood that's going to come in next year for this. Like all these people, like if the same format, like lower bracket first round, like cut off like three ten. <laughs> yeah, it's just going to keep getting It'd be insane. Like... That's another PK in the Hall of Fame, baby. Let's yep. go. Two Pikas <laughs> in Hall of Fame. How many EVs do you see in Hall of Fame in any percent runs? Not Absolutely zero. Look at that level 5 Pikachu. Sheep clocking in at a solid 3.14.30. Well done to Sheep. Well done to all of our runners. GG's. Looks like Spider has just unmuted and joined us in chat. Congratulations on your race, race win, Spider. How, Hi. How, how, Congrats. Sorry to Congrats. everyone who had to watch that. Yes. Hey. Can you stop making a sweat for one second? Jeez. <laughs> I wanted to go fast because I needed to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 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 well, there you go, folks. It was not a PV attempt. It was not Spider being oblivious of his advantage. He just those, wanted to go to the bathroom. Those bladder percents. Yeah. Classic. Yeah, uh, biological says. disadvantage. Also, biological joining us now. Congratulations on your finish. A uh, little bit rougher of a time for you, but good job finishing out anyway. GG, shoot. Uh, congrats, Spider. Yeah, Thank you. My, my run was awful. Yeah, same. It was like, yeah. May, may, let's start with your run first, Spider. You won. Um, yeah. yeah, give us the lowdown on the highlights. You skipped the glowing Chansey. Okay, so <laughs> still I guess we're start. Well, so before that, even the cliffhanger. Uh, first, no, not before that. Let's keep going back further in time. <laughs> Rival one, I hit. Ta I used tackle and laughed for two minutes straight because I got minus attack for the third time. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. But the funny thing. Is this one had an attack characteristic, so it wasn't yep. really minus attack. Um, in fact, its special attack was much more of a problem than its attack because I didn't get any special attack AVs and I was low XP. Yeah, the Chansey, yeah. I saw the Chansey, and because I was getting attack AVs, and also because I just wasted great balls on the Clefair on the Clefable mm -hmm. that spawned on top of me, That's I decided to skip it. Um, yeah. which I definitely should have gotten it because I needed that XP later on. Uh, but in the moment, honestly, like a fair decision to make. We were talking about it in comms, also. Yeah, if, I said. If, yeah, if I if I can at this point, um, needed the exp. I think I got like two exp over level fifteen, leaving Moon. Oh, oh my gosh! I, I was I was so short. It you were was so close because you also caught uh you caught solo Zubat. Uh, yeah, I I mean I I just wanted to have something like. EXP wise, so I was like, I'm not going to make it with this. So let's catch something and see if I can make 15. And was like exactly enough. It was yeah, yeah that made stressful. All the difference for you. Yeah, backup threats were like waiting for an Ekans outside, or otherwise getting the rare candy or something. Yeah, walk us through your mid games too, uh, Sheep. You had an exceptional count going into Rock Tunnel at about, I believe, 28, yeah. if we recall correctly. Yeah. Insane um, catch count, yeah. Yeah, th th that was the part of the run that actually went really well. Um, like, well, I, I, yeah, just, like, fi finding things. I, I don't think I waited too long for stuff, just stuff spawning. Um, well, the one question I have is in Tunnel. Your catch count was fine. But you decided to go for Charmander. It it just spawned into me. Ah, uh, okay. okay, gotcha. That was I, the I, 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 I was walking sense. and it was like, 
hey, there's a snow. Well, I mean, if I if if it just spawns into me, I guess I'll just try to catch it. Okay. Yeah, my tunnel. I got everything I wanted, but I'm flubbed a bunch of throws, and also stuff was spawning in not great order. So that yeah, that's when things started to go downhill for me. Yeah, your also, your hideout I... was tough. The hideout tower was tough because you died. Yeah, Evie going like down that's, that's my point about too. where people always complain about minus attack being bad on Evie. This EV was essentially minus special attack, and it is so much worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I think, like, yeah, the, the attack you really need it. I mean, you need both. Right. Yeah, I, I, would, <laughs> I, 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 would, I would say plus special attack is better than sp plus attack. Mm -hmm. But yeah. minus, like, yeah. There's like if you have like one attack AV, you're okay with neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so weird. Like it's so interesting to me how <laughs> let's go Eevee compared to Pikachu. Like Eevee lives or dies. Like the run lives or dies by Eevee stats distribution. Yeah, yeah. I had I ended up with um three attack AVs and four speed AVs. <laughs> Zero special attack. Ugh. So it was a weird Eevee. Gah. I had uh, four HP AVs. Oh no! On a no, on a not siesta EV. Let's go double edge. Yeah, it was okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah. With minus minus defense, I mean, I don't really. I I think minus special defense is way better. But so mm -hmm. having some HP was good. For sure. So uh, another question, Chief. Did you did you commit to stage traps just because you wanted to finish the yeah. race? Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, 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 it, it was like things went so wrong for me, um, like the, 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 the poster grunt, like I've never seen that fight go that wrong. He flinched mm. me three times, I think. Oh no, yeah, that's so gross. <laughs> um, it happens. And, and 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 then it just kept going worse and worse from there. Um, um, I had some. I, I I I think I I can I can say uh, Joy-Con issues, um, especially in the early game with catches. Uh, it just like I I I did a run like two. I finished the run two hours before the race, and everything went fine, and so I was pretty warmed up for it things. Um, and it just had some delayed throws, especially on mm. my glowing things. So I just kept missing excellence. Um, and Hitting the op hitting the question on Blaine, like I was yeah. taking that really slowly, and it just like okay, we're, we're, you're you're going to take uh, Tombstone as a TM. Yeah, I've never so. been up sped by the Nine Tails before. That was fun. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were sweating so hard because you were speed tied with the Pidgeot yep. on Rival Three. Did you realize that, that going into it? Well, and the funny thing was is that treat. that speed threshold isn't in my notes, but I was pretty sure I was speed tied. Um, mm -hmm. And then I got that the the flinch. I was like, okay, that's fun. Yeah, we were like, we were worried about sand attack. We didn't yeah. think about the air slash flinch being a factor. Like second speed tie coming up. <laughs> but thankfully, you did win the second speed tie. Well, I was pretty sure it was going to attack me on the second turn because I was so badly damaged. So I definitely wasn't worried about the second turn. Mm -hmm. okay. But there could have been a second flinch. <laughs> that is never, true. Never, never yeah, you can either. get three flinches, really. Yeah. She, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she would know. But honestly, like the end of both of your catch rides was really solid. Both of you only had a uh, star to catch uh, coming out of the, the Route 17 area. Both of you got everything that you needed to round out your catch route. Uh, King Shrubs unfortunately had to bow out early due to not seeing Rhyhorn being 26 catches out of Rock Tunnel. Um, and then just oh, and then yeah. dying to Tower J and J. So the the yeah. one two three punch was just too much to handle. Yeah. Well, yeah. so when I saw the DNF come through, I was like, "Oh, that's too bad." And then my second thought was, "Dang it! Now I can't DNF." <laughs> <laughs> now you have to finish. Yeah, I was like, he said things went wrong at a rough run. I was like, you had a rough run. I was like, <laughs> okay, yeah, things can go that. worse, I guess. <laughs> Things can absolutely go worse. Um, my star was also awful. Yeah. 
Speed like was waiting good. for my wait. Yeah, the, was just like catching it, waiting for it. And oh yeah, yeah. I oh, didn't yeah. see anything surfing down. I I had a I had a repel and lure again, and then had to wait for that. Like, my star yeah. went fairly close to the finner, and I was like, oh, not this again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Flashbacks intensify. <laughs> But it didn't hit hit any optionals, not that I saw for you. Yeah, I was yeah. off clean somehow. Yeah, both of you were. Oh wait, wait, no, sorry, she hit the yeah. Was it eight, 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 eight input? But... Yeah, yeah. But we'll blame Joy-Con issues on that, honestly. Yep. Definitely mm -hmm. not a skill issue at all. Like unironically. No, so... it was like uh, a shame. Uh, but uh, it was just like one of the many things that just, uh, I mean, uh, um, Rapidus surviving on Giovanni, like Power yeah, of Love surviving, mm -hmm. oh, that, like all those, the, like e every little thing that could just like. Yeah, it just compounds over yeah. the course of the run. But either way, good games to both of you. Congrats to Spider Thank on you. the win. Uh, Spider, you have now locked yourself into advancing. Uh, for lower pot three, uh, do you have any like interesting matchups that you'd like to be put up against? Or I mean, I would so Joker or Dino. Oh wait, no, I'm in the same pot as Joker. Dang yeah, it. yeah, we can't face each so other. It's so yeah. sad. Uh, it's sad. Yeah. So then, I, I, you know, I'm hoping for thing, the uh... rig the pot so Spider and I face each other. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm hoping for the Triv Dino Spider uh, race. That uh -huh. would honestly be so hype. Considering that we've all run Starfall Street and have like connected with each other on that. Yeah. Oh, Etiquette's too busy donking right now. So Etiquette's too busy donking. Unfortunate. Well, Rainos are cool. Um and then obviously Sheep wish you could have advanced as well, but uh, I hope that you've taken your your game knowledge and hopefully coming back next year for Another race, this time on digital. I believe this is your first time running digital. If, uh, oh yeah, I'm great to digital. Directly. Yeah, 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 correct. It's I don't know. I I, I mostly notice actually differences in like the E4. Hmm, interesting. That's like that's hmm. what I'm saving the most time. Like I get like three seconds earlier to start or something like that. But I see bigger. The rest I don't feel really that much of a difference yet. But uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely, I'll definitely, yeah, yeah I'll, de I'll definitely keep playing, and I will join next year for sure. Looking forward to it. Yeah, uh, speaking of looking forward to things, uh, we have one final race for round three. Uh, this will be happening uh, tomorrow, tomorrow at six p.m. Eastern. Please translate to your local time. Uh, lower, lower bracket race between Iron. Kid Rocker and Vermilion Runs. I believe that's two Pikas, one Eevee. What are we thinking about this race, everyone? Um, well, I don't know if Vermilion's been grinding, but if Vermilion has been grinding, I think it's just whether it's Iron versus Kid Rocker, and Kid Rocker will uh, DNF, right, Kid Rocker? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that. Brother. <laughs> Brother, he can hear you. He's in these VC, this VC. Oh, that's why, that's why I'm asking him. Fight me, Joker. He says. No, no, but I, no. So, in all seriousness, I think um, Iron versus Kid Rocker will be close. Either of them can win. Yeah. Um, and then, if Vermilion has been practicing, maybe Vermilion can surprise us and win. But yeah, yeah that's why I'm hoping to. Uh, but please be looking forward to that. Um, round four will be starting up not too long after that. Uh, we'll probably have an announcement tomorrow on when draws. the draws are going to be, or today. Draw should be after the race. Um, okay, cool. So we'll have... I think Etiquette said he'd be free during then. So sounds good. So we'll have Iron Kid Rocker Vermilion running tomorrow at six PM Eastern. Directly following, we will have the round four draws. There's only going to be five matches in round four. We have the upper bracket finals, uh, and then four lower bracket matches um, to determine. Who advances to to round well, five and finals respectively? What do you guys think of the upper finals the matchup? Because we already know it. it's T Pat versus yeah, Etsy versus Etsy Headstrong. I think people are probably surprised at who's there. Yeah, um, obviously Etsy is the favorite to win, but I feel like people have been sleeping on like both T Pat and Headstrong. 
both can definitely like especially headstrong pulling out the win in uh etiquettes and and my race the other day too she's yeah can get very very scary on a good run yeah, yeah, that's the game. There, there, there's so much like that can happen. Yeah, so much. I mean, how, how, how many races have we seen decided on Caroline alone? Yeah, exactly. Caroline or any other like god awful fight. And it's it's close enough between those three that something like that can just happen, or like a bad archer fight. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I, uh, I'm also looking to see who Aspect gets. I don't want to draw Aspect again. <laughs> I can't draw Aspect because I am in the same pot as them. So yeah, lucky. Get wrecked. Pot two god item. Pot two <laughs> god item. Truly, we could get another NAEU Australia race. We could. Um, yeah, because it could be. <laughs> it could be a thing. There are several options for that to happen, in fact. Yep. <laughs> in, in every pot, there's, uh, there are NA and EU runners. It, is Furious EU? I believe so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Furious, I think Iron and Kid Rock are both US. Mm -hmm. So, right. well, North I, know, I know Kid Rocker is. I don't know where Iron I'm pretty sure Iron's American. Iron's or Canada. Canada, yeah. Or Canada, yeah. yeah. So the only pot three EU person is curious, so you know. Yeah, could happen, but we'll have to see when the draws happen. Yeah. Uh, but until then, do <laughs> any of y'all have uh, any shout outs that you want to make before we sign off? Shout outs to uh, Pikachu who made it to the Hall of Fame. Another shout outs to two Pikachu twice. who made it in the Hall of Fame. This is true. Yeah. Twice. Can't twice. say that about Evie making it to the Hall of Fame, huh? <laughs> it died. It died for its Hall of Fame spot. It, yep. it truly did. It, it gave. It gave the ultimate sacrifice. That Hall of Fame glory. Yeah, I'm excited for tomorrow's race and uh, have a good one, people. I guess. Yeah, have a good one. Take care. See you all tomorrow for the last race of round three. See ya.